Guten Abend, meine kleine Schnitzels. Are you ready for some Company of Heroes 3? As maybe it should have been on launch? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we'll have to wait and see indeed. On the one hand, I will say that the menu screen looks, you know, like a finished game now, rather than the hello, I am still in alpha game screen of the preceding version, so that's a step forward. I mean, this actually looks sort of kind of Company of Heroes-y. It's still got a little bit of that Green Army Men style to it, but, yeah, step in the right direction. Um, as for the expansion pack itself, it's... Oh, God, it's... Oi. Mm. <sighs> we, uh, we, we won't spend too much time complaining about the... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the expansion pack, but, uh, man, it's... It's not a lot. I'm, I'm disappointed by the size of the expansion pack. Uh, like, what, we got... We've got skin. the Africa Corps got actual skins, the uh, the blocking force. Everybody else gets like one skin. I feel like the very least they could have done is give you like a full reskin of the factions or something. You know, that would have been nice, uh, I think. Um, as for the rest of the expansion features, it is, I believe, um... God, a slightly different colored car. <laughs> uh, I believe it is... Let's see, can I... Uh, no, it, it won't let me. Uh, it's two new battle groups for multiplayer and two new battle groups for single player. There's no single player campaign for them. That is just two new battle groups. So uh, that's uh, two multiplayer battle groups and two single player battle groups for Company of Heroes' first expansion. Uh, which, of course, they did market in the uh, Super Duper Ultra Deluxe whatever the hell expansion pass blah 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 thing. If you pre-ordered the game and bought the special edition, you got the first expansion. And I gotta say, I... When I, I read expansion, I, I, I figured it'd be a bit more than this, but... Uh, we'll see. If they manage to update the rest of the game, well, then I won't complain as much, but... We'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's do... Uh, I like the big matches. I'm fond of big matches. Uh, we're not gonna play Americans, of course, because the Americans are gay. Uh, where's the new faction? Italian Coastal Battle Group. Okay. Uh, Coastal Reserves. Artillery Officer. Is that a... Uh, Obisia to 210mm howitzer. Okay, that's pretty hefty. Coastal wall. Dissonate. Off map material. We're fired now by units around the bunker. Moderate blast radius effective against light units. Okay. Support bunker. Tank bunkers. Bunks. Oh, anti tank bunkers. That's quite nice. Bulwark. Alright. Uh, let's try. Uh Oh, you gotta unequip something. Okay, uh, that one's complete not a garbage. Unequip that one. All right. Italiano, pasta beers, pasta gieti, pasta pasta gieti. So there's one more Italian group. That's something. But I I genuinely expected maybe like a new faction. Honestly, because okay, fair enough. Series 3 release with four factions. That's more than usual, right? I think that's even more than a Dawn of War, which was what, like three? So, okay. But, you know, you already got a lot of Italians. You, you could have made an Italian faction, at least, you know? Hmm. But they didn't. It might also partially be due to the fact that the uh, crew at Relic have received some pretty severe cuts after the release of COH3 did not, um,. Garner them quite the enthusiastic bump in sales that they had uh, mayhaps been anticipating, perhaps even have been relied upon. And to be fair, that was more their fault than mine. And maybe this was just what they could scrap together, because. Man, like it. It doesn't. Ah, like it. Mm, ah, mm, ah. It doesn't feel like an expansion pack, you know? 
If they'd named it DLC, I'd just shrug and be fine with it. Like, you get access to the first DLC. I'm like, well, okay. Fair enough. But an expansion pack. This isn't an expansion pack. I'm going to spend half this stream quiggling, qu qu quiggling, quibbling about the definition of an expansion pack, I think. Mm. I mean, expansion pack back in the day was kingdoms, you know? F fuck. Kingdoms didn't have four new factions. Kingdom had four new campaigns, each with its own goddamn factions. Yeah, meh, meh, meh. Uh, Dawn of War 1 had four factions? Space Marines, Elder, Orcs, and Chaos. You sure? Did they have, did they have Chaos? No, did they? Yeah, they did, didn't they? Because, uh, or, or did they? Did they? Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, 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 they did. I'm confusing two with one about uh, when they introduced Chaos, because it was uh, Winter Assault was Imperial Guard. Remember when expansion packs came with their own factions and often full campaigns? I remember when that was the standard. That was the norm. You expected at least a new faction and a new campaign. Like, that was just... That was the bare bones minimum, no? Right? Ah... Now, the price kind of makes up for it. It's 20 bucks, which, again, $10 per, like, deck, basically? $10 for what? Like, two new units? Three if you count the AT bunker? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that either. Car Forever becomes a bridge god worshipper. Thank you very much, sir. Well, it doesn't seem like the expansion has done much for the player numbers at the moment. And, and like, if they've actually managed to bring the game up to a, a good state, then I won't be that annoyed. Like, if I'm playing this and I'll be like, wow, this is so much better, then the expansion pack will be not that big an issue. It'll be a moment of jujitsu and nothing else. I mean, hell, this day and age... Uh... So, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Estimated wait time, 1 minute 35 seconds. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto isn't coming for PCs. Anybody see that? I'm going to actually turn off my oven. I'm releasing only for consoles. Mm. I have a sneaking suspicion I know exactly why that is. It's probably because they looked, uh, they took one look at the system requirements for that game, as it does look beautiful, and thought to themselves, all right, well, a lot of people are going to have to invest in new PCs if they want to buy this, and hey, if they've got enough money to buy a new PC, they've definitely got enough money to buy a console first. <laughs> They're actually probably unironically planning for people to pick up a whole console plus the game and then buy it again on PC later. And a lot of people are going to fall for it, too. Jesus Christ, a lot of people are going to fall for it. Oh, boy. Okay. We're heading on to five minutes now. What the hell? Uh, Alan Zuckov in chat points out as well, Gates of Hell got, a U got the US for the new faction recently. Not only that, Gates of Hell added a new faction, like 500 new models, and... An entirely new campaign. Like, that's an expansion pack, not you know, two new dicks for multiplayer. Oh boy, five minute mark. Jesus, okay. It's, uh. We're, we're beginning to enter is this bugged territory. Let me just have a real swift little look over at the Steam page here. Oh, no, there we go. All right. <laughs> it's, it's good news when you're wondering if the game has crashed waiting for more players. Again, 98% of people have the pre-order emblem, and there's one guy there who bought the game after launch, the one and only. The zero point something percent. Ah, oh, God, okay. How does how did this video game work again? How did the Germans work again? Uh, did they have the armored car? 
Is rushing the little dumb American armored thing still like the meta above all metas? I guess we're going to be finding out. Predictably, everyone has picked the uh, the new doctrine on the German side. I feel like this is going to be a very Italian battle. Hmm. Is, um, are we going to... Don't kick me back to the queue again, game. I beg you. Please. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Chat. I'm sure some of you are Italian. Inform me about some Italian war cries, because, you know, shouting schnitzel at the top of your mouth, your, uh, your voice isn't going to be working if we're going to play in the Italians. Oh, oh, movement. Oh, movement on their side. Dragonborn here seems to be dragon dicked. Dragon, uh, murdered? Dragon buried? Dragon, dragon, dragon violated? Dragon ate? Dragon vor? Dragon boned? You'd probably be dead if you were born by a dragon, just incidentally. Oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, lads. 312 kilobytes internet in action. What is our in due course? All right. Okay. Well, we got here. Um, how did the wor Germans work again? Do I need to build everything? Or don't I need to build everything? I don't remember. I always want to build a Ketten cart. I always do, because the Ketten cart is so gosh darn kawaii. It's an awful vehicle. It's an absolutely beyond terrible vehicle, but it's just so gosh darn adorable. All right, reserve pool grants free reinforcement. Recharge time reserve the being run. Oh, that's nice. Free reinforcements. Oh wow, defensive infantry. Uh, oh boy. Okay, defensive infantry. Hmm. Hmm. Defensive infantry. Is this the game trying to uh, subtly suggest to me that they're going to be very, very garbage? Infantry are in reserve. They await deployment. I feel like it might be. Okay, well, if our entire gosh darn doctrine is focused around the idea of building hard houses. Okay, he's gonna capture that. How many pioneers does it My reserve try those point. fucking shooting. What is wrong with you? Send word. Over. Actually, I fucked up, didn't I? Yes. Yes, I definitely did. Okay, this is not at all how you were supposed to... This is not at all how you're supposed to capture this. Okay, I like the new outlines around stuff. That's nice. It makes it a little bit clearer. What's where and what's when, what's how, etc. That's nice. Uh, getting suspicious about the way they walk. Yep. Uh-huh. That's why I was getting suspicious about the way they were walking. Yep, nope. Still, there isn't really any flanking in this game for the simple reason that the MG sets up way too fast. You can't really get out of the way. Uh, back in the day, you could rush that down. Like, if you caught it out with the Pioneer, you could absolutely rush an MG down. Not anymore. Okay. And the worst part is, oh god, I hate, this is the current meta too, it's like, you can just, the way that people use, use, uh, machine guns now, they use them as assault MGs, like that, how you see they're constantly moving them up and they never stopping, that's what people used to do in, uh, COH2 with the Maxim machine gun with its, uh, super fast setup. Because it's so safe now. Like, that would be suicide for COH1, because you'd never be able to set that thing up reliably in time. Now, it, it doesn't matter. You just move that forward. There's absolutely no risk to you whatsoever. It sets up in a millisecond, and you just keep moving it. It removes so much maneuvering from the game. I am 
so incredibly not happy with how the new machine guns work now. I feel like they've nerfed the sounds again. Okay, well, the reserve infantry has indeed proven to not be very good. Uh, I don't want another one of those, honestly. Right, there's the machine gun. He's probably, if he's smart, he will have pulled back up there, which would be unfortunate for me. Let me try the artillery officer. They have nerfed the machine gun quite a lot. Like, that's dying a lot faster than I remember. Uh, yep. He was going around that. Uh, did I? Oh, I lost one engineer unit, didn't I? Yep, an armor spam. Yep. Like, okay. Yeah, I've forgotten how to play, too. So he just rushed armor, which is what the U.S. does. It is their one and only tactic. And I could have countered it, but I was too slow because I didn't build the Luftwaffe company, which is the only thing you can do. It's the only counter. Ah, oh, the, oh, all of the old annoyances with COH is coming back to me very rapidly. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember. There's one way to play the video game and one way only. If you don't play it specifically like that, if you do not follow this specific order, you just die. Territory sector lost. Enemy forces have secured... I'm being awfully negative right off the bat, aren't I? Yeah. Bad memories. This, to be fair, this was my own fault, because I should have rushed this a lot earlier. Even then, I don't know if I would have gotten it out in time, but... That's what you do. You rush the armored car, because the armored car, for some weird reason, is actually really good in this game. I remember, I never built it. I never built the armored car, because I was like, it's a fucking armored car. It's, it's a scout car. What the hell is it gonna do? Absolutely nothing. No. No, the scout car is brilliant. The scout car kills stewards. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. The scout car kills stewards. Alright, he's gonna retreat that. Artillery officer, where do you go? Give us new orders. Okay. I don't know how that's gonna work or how effective it'll be, but. Alright, build that, make up a little bit for the fact that we're going to be losing an ass load of fuel. Let's try and chase and kill that. Okay. Come on, get the AT gun. Nah. Just mass, 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 mass armor spam. Eh, shouldn't have moved in before I got the gun. That was a bit stupid, too. Alright, now I need to move them here. I know they've got a machine gun. Honestly, I should probably just spam machine guns myself. Gotta repair that. Alright, let's see what this guy can do. If there's a machine gun there, there isn't, weirdly enough. I'm surprised. Okay, he's gonna help me out. Sure. An MG42 team is ready. Don't, 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 don't. Fuck. Oh, yep. Another one. Oh, God, yeah, this is bringing back all the bad memories right now. It's just very static gameplay. Set of weapon, behind set of weapon, behind set of weapon. This was never an issue in COH1 either, that was the thing. Because there was always a lot of maneuvering to be done. Okay. Ooh, have they nerfed the scout car? Oh boy, please don't tell me. Yeah, the scout car actually... The scout car actually loses out to the armored car now, doesn't it? That's not great. Why the 
fuck would that be the case? That was the one counter against that stuff. Okay. Interesting choice. Some Jaegers would be very, very useful. In fact, basically necessary. Do have to go and try and kill that damned mortar thingy. Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, they outranged me. Okay, interesting. Can you shoot at that? Of course you can't. Why? Why would you be able to shoot at that? That would be far too useful. Okay, let's try the flight phosphorus. Um. Wow, they've they nerfed the scout car. Why the? Okay, that's just right. The scout car can now be countered by the one and only thing it was made to counter. A very interesting decision. Okay, well, I maybe it has range. I fucking hope it has range. Really don't want to buy Panzer Shreks, but I feel like I'm going to have to buy Panzer Shreks. Well, so far this is an unmitigated disaster. Jaegers will help. Try that. The enemy have taken our territory. Nope. Wow, I cannot believe they've nerfed the fucking scout car. I how oh my god. What? What are you supposed to be doing then? Okay, so the scout car, the one thing you had to deal with early armor, now can't deal with early armor. But Rush Dug, I guess? The enemy has taken a victory point. Mm, Alright. Well, I guess that was a uh, too good a counter to last. Service guaranteed citizenship. Two machine guns, the mortar's still at base, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was indeed an absolute unequivocal disaster. Um, the flak is an option, but if the game is like it was, where it's basically about spamming setup weapons, the flak is going to be way too immobile against, like, five or six mortars. The... Stug. Where's the Stug? The Stug... No, I'm not built that, as usual. I mean, I guess you're just going to need to rush for the Marder. The Marder will deal with it, but the Marder is... It comes out way, 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 way after the rushed armored, uh, armored vehicle. Tanishnev donates 100 sec, thank you very much. Have you seen Solium Infernum? Grand Challenge game set in hell, where you bid, manipulate, and use diplomatic interaction trying to become the new ruler of hell. It's really cool and has a demo. I have seen it. I put it on my wish list, so I'll keep a little, little eye on it. Um, I mean, this is very... Very over. Right. The meta so far appears to be the exact same. Uh, rush light vehicle, build nothing but set of weapons, and that's kind of it. The coastal reserve squad are very, very awful. Uh, let's see. It was an O2 mod 42 grenade the target vehicle. This lane there is not an attack race, but temporarily blinds the vehicle. Okay, that's kind of nice. I want to try the coastal infantry a bit more because the whole ability to reinforce for free is very interesting. Defensive line. Permanently mark a friendly territory.
Retreat point and reduce the incoming damage from nearby units and defenses. Okay. Didn't actually get to try any of that out, but it sounds cool. Yep. There comes the armor. The uh, allied armor arrives at the point where the Germans are like, yeah, we don't really have much. Oh, he's got a still. <laughs> He's got dug it deep. Just, just an enormous mass of allied tanks. Historically accurate, but nothing else. Supposed to be turtles with the bunker and Arty officer. Yeah, I imagine that's uh, the aim of it, trying to turtle up. The issue is, there is no way you can turtle, though, if you can't actually get a point. That's uh, kind of the thing. You need to actually have a point to be able to turtle on a point. Right, okay, so, re-evaluating, um, they decided to... I, I, why, I, the, why would you, why would you nerf the scout car? Why would you nerf the scout car? Like, the scout car was already super niche in that it literally only counted enemy vehicles. That was all it did, because it did no damage to infantry. That was its one role, to counter the super early armor rush and then essentially become useless. To have it on equal footing with a vehicle that butchers infantry? I... I, I do not understand that decision. I really don't. But maybe in my absence of playing multiplayer, somebody found out a way to super abuse the scout car, I guess. Uh, possibly. Jaegers, I suppose, is the best option then. Ignore the scout car, go for Jaegers and give them Shreks. Um, that works, to a degree. The issue with the Jaegers is, of course, that they're really squish and really goddamn expensive. But that might be it, and then simply just keep spamming martyrs, but, oh god. That, that was the meta I got really sick of in the uh, previous version of the game. We'll see. At least the game didn't crash, so that's a step in the right direction. Meta itself does not seem to have changed at all. Um, it's just set of weapons, spam the shit out of set of weapons and then rush for super quick armor with the Americans, and if the Germans haven't gotten enough fuel, it's GG. Ah, the volatil volatility of it. Okay, so this reminds me a lot of Dawn of War 2, right? And to be fair, it was Dawn of War 2's formula for a very long time, so it works, I suppose. But in Dawn of War 2, when you got to a certain level, basically the game was decided in the first three minutes. If you manage to break through the enemy's front line and buy a flamer, a space mace, for example, and burn their power, a game was over. Because you would simply then be able to build the first, like, dreadnought, for example, so quickly that you could burn their power again, because they couldn't stop it. And at that point, with their power permanently camped, they would never get any resource to build vehicles. And so soon you'd have predators and land raiders and all kinds of shit. In that game, it was a symptom of the smaller maps and the very heavy micro meta. And that became, like, the thing to do with every faction. Just go for the power. If you got that, you rushed for the first earliest light vehicle you got, and you went for the power again. And the focus on fuel kind of echoes that. Then again, that's also the exact same thing as in COH1. And COH1 never quite felt the same way. Hmm. Still... Too early to condemn the game just yet. Optimism, optimism. Right. I'm tempted... Let's... I want, I want to see if I can make the Coastal Reserves work. Because I like the idea of, like, this kind of defensive... Oh, God, same map. I've... I never win on this map. I don't, I don't even know why. I never win on this map. I did just buy a second unit of Pioneers, which I frankly didn't need, honestly. Because I like the idea of them. Like a not very great, but really cheap infantry unit uh, that can be reinforced for basically free a couple of times. And kind of allows you to engage in a little bit of the, the grindy nature, right? Uh, That's a cool idea. I did way, way over commit to this stuff now. 
But machine gun first, uh, absolutely, then probably mortar, then probably second machine gun, then probably second mortar. And we'll see if we ever get to the point where we can actually buy some, uh, you know, reserve infantry. Probably bunker, honestly. MG-42 and crew available. Put us to work. Take the lead. Get it? Yeah, yeah. We'll capture it. Pioneers ready. Carefully, Pioneers. Position secure. Moving How much on. is the bunker? 175. Uh, okay, that's not captured yet. Do I want to try and get a... Supers are firing at us. They're moving up there very quickly. That's to be expected. We need that brown captured. Put us to work on your feet, Pioneers. Yep. Rush, rush, rush. Don't really have anything to deal with that, sadly. The machine gun will be coming up soonish, though. Okay. Uh, building. Can't really do anything about that yet. Alright, just suck that up. If he wants to shoot my, uh, my engineers in cover, then I'm actually pretty fine with that. That'll let me get that up. You need demolition. What are your orders? And they did manage to capture that, which is very nice. Alright, that sets up. Oh my jeez, are you... What? Really? The... Oh, I'm gonna lose that. Yep. I somehow expected the guard tower to be able to fire in this direction. Apparently that was uh, not something I should have expected. Okay, some help from north. Much appreciated. Right, I should take this opportunity to build bunkers. Um. Video game. Come on. Ready. Easy work, boss. Press off the rack. Light it up. Eager to get moving. Heading to your coordinates. All right. Victory point lost. Moving to coordinates. Right up. Uh, issue is now I don't have any AT, so let's we get it working on that. Of a capture point. Let's show the infantry how it's done. Get us the hell out of here! All right, machine gun. Whenever you're ready. Commandant, territory sector lost. Fire is the answer. Okay. Place a. Oh, hello. Am I being shot at? Is it dangerous? Yes, it is. Right, anti-tank. Um, all I can really afford at the moment is the scout car, so it's the scout car we're going to use. What's that? A bazooka? Oh yeah, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Right, let's get the machine gun up there. That unit is doing something weird and dumb. I don't necessarily mind if it wants to die, then that's fine by me. I really want to capture this, though. That'd be kind of useful. I can probably kill that unit. Alright, there goes the scout comp. Enemy mortar. Medical bunker would be nice. That's gonna cost 50. Expensive. Okay. Well, that just kind of died. Okay. 
You want to stick about me? All right, go on. That was a lot more damage than I expected. Car, please. Car. That was a lot more damage than I expected from one sticky bomb. But that's easily repairable. Okay, going to need a upgrade. I feel like I'm running out of munitions awfully quickly. Support bunkers. Do I want support bunkers? Ability unlocked. All right, well, I am gonna get car. Please, could you just, you know, leave? Nope. Well, I mean, if you just get gangbanged by three people, or only two of them. I see the boy's anti-tank rifle is still the only piece of anti-tank you ever need of the British because it defeats every other thing. Oh no, I am getting attacked by three people. All right, well. Yeah, well indeed. Um, Jaegers. I'm going to lose that bunker. There's really nothing I can do about it. Did I? Wait. How did I lose my... Somewhere along the line, I lost my mortar? No, there it is. Okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, getting attacked by three people, that was probably just not going to hold very well. And to my allies' credit, they did rally in and save one of my bunkers, which is nice. How did you heal us, the Germans, again? The medical station? Yes, let's get that. All right, let's get the Marder. I do hate the Marder, particularly on maps like this. Being a turretless tank destroyer in an urban environment is a really, 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 really goddamn bad idea. But if it's the only idea you've got... Probably not going to be able to save that. Upgrade it. That does make it quite a bit tougher. Marder. Okay. You get up there, rebuild that bunker. Machine gun. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. That thing can actually outrun me, can't it? Okay, nice. Alright, Marda, come up here, please. Yes, yes, come here. Thank you. Nice freebie. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And destroy that, because I know that was expensive. And spam Jaegers. I've been saving way too much manpower. I have, I have lost. I shouldn't have been moving the machine gun over there. That was... Weirdly stupid. Ah. 
God, I, I am the focus of a lot of fucking people on this flank, aren't I? I doubt he's going to be stupid enough to let me get away with that, but who knows. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, still don't know if that's going to be enough, but that actually did save the bunker. I actually did, well... It saved the bunker for about five seconds until another squad from another player came over. Alright, you're gonna have to go home with Amada. As I'm expecting you're gonna get a few sticky bombs on you. That was a cute play though. I'm quite proud of myself of the cute play. Because it was a cute play. G43 is up and running. That's gonna help a lot in the infantry fight. Oh, thank you. He's hearing my stuff. Okay. When we're arriving at this point, the Germans start to get pretty goddamn dangerous. Once you've got three units of Jaegers up and running, that's very dangerous. These bunkers are really goddamn tough, though. Guys, new units can defend a 30% rate of fire. I attribute this mostly to my teammates, though, to be fair. Okay. Command bunker. Okay. The sheer amount of potential camp you can carry out here, though, is uh, is beginning to dawn on me. Hello, Sherman. Oh. Well, that's Come on out. You have command points available. It's very unfortunate for you, little machine gun. The enemy has 75 points at falling. It's not you. Come on out. Territory sector lost. Oh. Don't mind if I do, indeed. Take another pack howitzer. They do cost an, MG42. an absolute assload of MG42 munitions. I might want to go for, I don't know, something that doesn't cost 50 munition to counter vehicles. Maybe the flak is actually the answer. Alright, well, I think we can consider that one to be a video game. Never mind. Okay, let's just go over there then. 
Uh, Lord of Opossums, $5. Thank you very much. Hi, Arch. I watched the new Godzilla movie. It was great. Thanks for the recommendations. You're very welcome. It was great. It was really good, actually. I still think Shin was even better. I think Shin Godzilla, Godzilla, Shin Godzilla, was the best one in uh, recent time. But uh, Minus One is really good, too. Really good, too. Are they, uh... Nope, the requirements are still a little bit ridiculous. Destroy 15... Oh, well, that's, no, that's not that bad. 15 vehicles as the US forces, that's doable. The whole destroy 15 vehicles with a specific unit thing, that was cancer. That was, uh, that was quite cancer. Service guarantee citizenship. I wonder why quick play isn't just on the front screen instead of on a sub screen, but... Big battles, big, big. Stephen Rutford for two dollars. Hey, Arch, what happened to the earlier D&D streams? They are all being moved over to Rumble. I'm keeping them up on YouTube for about a week or so, and then I'm moving them over onto my Rumble channel. There is um, a link in the um, video on the bottom of the screen, which tells you what the Rumble channel is and where to find it. That's where all of the D&D will be. And Mr. Twisted Frenzy for 10 euros. Thank you very much. I watched your Black Templar video today and really enjoyed it. I'm curious though, do they hate Rogal Dawn or do they still love and respect him as their father and vice versa for Dawn? It's a very testy relationship between the two. Like, there will always be some care between the two to a degree, but Dawn pretty much washed his hands off the Templars. And the Templars too, they venerate Dawn of course as their, their Primarch and their father figure, but... Uh, whether or not they, they love him is, uh, is a different matter entirely. As he, what I liked about Shin Godzilla is it kept Godzilla more... Uh, uh, neutral, in a way? See, in, um, in Zero, he, he kind of just attacks people for no particular reason. Like, he's just a giant lizard that lives at the bottom of some Filipino island and randomly attacks people. Like, okay, um... I mean, that works, but... Alright. Whereas in, in Shin, he's more of a... force of nature. Like, he, he's a ram he's a rampant evolution. Like, somebody dumped some nuclear waste somewhere and it mutated him. And at first, like, Godzilla doesn't even know what he's doing. He's just waffling up on land and he's like, Wow, this is cute. Uh, what's going on here? Then he gets a couple of attack helicopters who probably would have killed him in his first form. And it's like, well, time to leave. And then eventually comes back even bigger and better. Shin was really good. I like Shin. I also did like the, uh, the, the focus on the governmental response. There was a lot more personal people relationship in Zero, which wasn't bad, but I, I do prefer it when it's the government. When it's like the large entity of humanity trying to figure out how to deal with a 200 meters tall lizard that breathes fire suddenly appearing in downtown Tokyo. <sighs> okay, so they, they also added a replay feature apparently. We do need to have a look at that at some point as well. For now, the Italian seems to be, um, well, build set of weapons and then bunker down. And then continue to bunker down because, again, those bunkers were fucking tough. They, they ate a lot of rounds. And to be fair, they probably should be. Because for 175 manpower and like 50 munitions to upgrade them, you don't want them to die to a mortar or something. You know, you want, you want them to be solid. They need to take some real cracking open, right? And then there's the MonsterVerse too. Like, okay. I've seen this go around Twitter like, Oh, it's such a good time to be a Godzilla fan. Look, you've got the Monarch and you've got Godzilla vs. King Kong. Like, I don't consider either one of those to be Godzilla movies. Alright? Neither one of those are Godzilla properties. And anyone who considers them Godzilla properties? Half fan at best, in my opinion. Like, don't get me wrong, they, they can be cool. I've enjoyed the previous MonsterVerse movies to a degree, you know. Their big stupid monster fights big other stupid monster, occasionally. And the majority of the time, there's some teenagers worrying about teenage things. It's the Transformers movies, basically. 
<laughs> Literally. Unironically. The Monsterverse is just Michael Bay's Transformers, but with Kaiju. That is it. That is actually it. That is a 1000% accurate fucking observation, and none of you can dispute it. A true Godzilla. He's Godzilla, okay? He, only the Japanese make him. Uh, Mate Zvik says, Hello, Arch, did you hear about Project Morningstar? I did. I've, in fact, there are several projects being taken up now by uh, animators who went to Games Workshop, were abused, and then went to prize Pikachu face white. The enormous corporation that forced me to stop creating fan content was a shit place? Yes. And I will, okay, a lot of them are beautifully animated, okay? I'm not disputing that in the slightest, but there's a lot of legally distinct space marines about these days, okay? People this talented really should be making something more their own, if I may be so forward as to suggest. Uh, let's, oh god, ooh, 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 okay, 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 it's this map, all right, this, this is, yeah? I have, I have lost. Oh god, well, never mind. I was about to say, there's an opportunity here to rush forward and fortify, but no. The inexplicably introduced uh, parachuting machine gun is on the field, so let's skip the machine gun and go straight for a mortar. Uh, Scout is ready for use. Not a fan of the Pada dropped heavy weapons team, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> really not a fan. It's like, oh my god. Somebody in the design meeting were like, okay, uh, we're gonna do like US Airborne. Like, what are they gonna have? Like, what, what are we gonna do with the US Airborne? And some sp little motherfucker was like, oh, we're gonna have them be able to drop a, a heavy machine gun. On. Don't you think that will be unbelievably overpowered and unfathomably cancerous to deal with? No. Oh wait, he didn't? Wait, there's a machine gun. I was pretty much expecting there to be a machine gun sitting right in here now for the obvious reasons that you can beat anyone to that building. You put it over there. Why on the... Okay, well, I mean... Fine, I guess. It's a very weird thing to do, but I'll accept it. That doesn't mean that getting the mortar first was not ideal, but it's hardly a massive detriment either. Second machine gun. Yeah, that's worse. As I can't really mm, too much stuff on the field too quickly, and I can't get. No, no, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, not getting the machine gun first did indeed screw me there, because that meant he could get two machine guns up, and I just didn't have the troops ready to deal with it. Eh, yeah, annoying, but I could never imagine him not just going for the obviously massively superior position of putting his machine gun in the house. Teaches me a lesson about assuming that my enemy are intelligent, I guess. Let's not get the flamethrower upgrade. And I do want the Healy upgrade. HQ shall be receiving medics to heal our wounded. So that was a please don't assume your opposition is intelligent check. A capture point is being overrun. Huh? Uh, where are you? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Victory point lost. What are let's get rolling? Glory! Commandant, territory sector lost. Pick up some haste. Shield on position ahead. 
Follow me. Okay, that will deal with that. Instant suppression. Oh, they've given the Ketan the ability to hide now, have they? That's nice. Alright, that's nice. That does make the Ketan a lot more versatile. Oh, are you gonna... Are you gonna do the gay? You're gonna do the gay, aren't you? Are you gonna do the gay? Yeah, you're gonna do the gay. Okay. Right. Please suppress them quickly. Get out of the blast range. Good boys. Okay. Nope, he's got another... How do you defend a point? Well, just continuously rally an endless number of machine guns to it. That is indeed a way to defend a point. Alright, need to get better with my own micro too. Did I... Did I... How did I lose the machine... Wait, did I? I lost a machine gun. Fucking great. Right, not getting into any position to actually make any bunkers so far. And we've lost the entire map, which means we're going to get rushed by armor and probably just murdered. Good start. Yep. Again, this game, it's practically decided in the first three minutes, which I don't think is good game balancing, but Relic clearly disagrees. The enemy has taken a victory point. What do I go for? I can't even afford... We're gonna need to go for that, because I'm, I'm gonna have to have some form of AT. Even if it's gonna be extraordinarily limited AT. And the armored car is the cheapest form of AT I can get up quickly. Counting runs. Annoying, but... Honestly, the flak is probably not a bad idea. Ah, there's my MG. Okay, I would love to reclaim that, for obvious reasons. Oh, never mind. I see you bought a unit. Let me just hard counter that by pressing a button real quick. Alright. Mortar, mortar, machine gun. Stuff. Loads of stuff. The enemy has claimed our sector. Okay, didn't manage to withdraw that immediately. That is a big boon. This is risky and exceedingly dumb, but I kind of just want to distract them a little bit. The enemy has claimed our territory for their own. Okay, well, that's a breakthrough of sorts. We have 300 
Oh, well, never f Yep. I see you have a unit there. Oh. No, that was a that was a please leave, not a uh, not a turn around. Managed to get out of there, remarkably enough. Okay. Bunkers, like yesterday. Uh, where's the second unit? There. Okay. Build second bunker behind the first bunker. Get up machine guns to try and protect those damn things. I really, really... Oh, that's a IT rifle, isn't it? Yep, yep it is. Really, really, really badly need some mortars. That's gonna need to guard my ass. Machine gun. Medical bunker. That's gonna be used to call in a lot of shit on my head. Our adversary is pushing back. We are down to 250 points. I was hoping the the AA weapon would uh I don't know. Kill something? I was apparently expecting a little bit too much. Jesus. Alright, well, that's one way to do it. Just simply call in an infinite number of units from, like, three players directly on top of you, and, uh, yes. That does indeed work out pretty well. Yeah. Yep, just hit by three players' worth of call-ins. Yeah, that's the issue with this doctrine. If you don't win early, you... You're just... You're just... You're just gone. Our enemy has control over all victory points. Very much so. Yeah, yep. I'm not going to drag that one out. That one was very, 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 very obviously over. And it was very, very obviously over about ten minutes ago. Uh, Killeter117. Arch, I have a question that has been bothering me for days. What happened to... Rights? And how are they unable to write anything when I was young? They good. What happened to... Rights? Rights? And how are they unable to write anything when I was, I was young? They good. What, writers? What happened to writers? Well, uh, most of them simply got drowned in the fact that everyone's a writer these days. Since everyone can release stuff on Amazon, it's very few, uh, very far and few between the people who are actually good. And those who rise to the top just don't have that big numbers. Like, bestsellers today can be bestsellers after selling a few thousand copies. It's a market with an enormous amount of people and very little interest beyond a handful of individuals. Uh, which is why you see the huge ones, like George R. R. Martin, for example, and those people who define entire genres, they still become big. But, I mean, how many famous writers do you know of today, right? Where is the uh, the Isaac Asimovs, the uh, the Heinleins, you know? 
where uh, where are our Dumas? We don't have that. The closest we have to a Dumas is, is fucking George R. R. Martin. <laughs> Which is tragic. Oh god, that makes me sad. Mm. That that does make me sad actually. <sighs> Alright, so what went wrong there? Well, obviously, one, I didn't manage to hold middle. That went wrong, which meant I didn't get bunkers down quickly enough, and so I couldn't, like, get stuck in, but... The... The flak gun, I was really expecting that to do something against the enemy aircraft circling above my head, but I guess that was a little bit optimistic. Evidently, that was a little bit optimistic. I don't feel like there is any opportunities to actually use the reserve infantry here, because, like... How the fuck would you use them? Because, I mean, maybe, like, if you put them in cover and then you put a mortar behind them, maybe? But they cost 240 manpower. It's like, you could do that, or you could buy a machine gun for that 240 manpower. Which one's going to be best? I wonder. Hmm. I mean, at least with the other, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, Africa Corps infantry, the, the, uh, is that the core? The tier one infantry, the Italian ones, they're they're actually good. Like they're worth their price, and they get uh, machine gun upgrades. These guys, what do they get? A hand grenade? Like wow, that's great. What does it do? Well, it costs munitions. Oh, that thing I need for all of my bunkers, that incredibly rare and precious resource for my faction. Yeah. Does it kill anything? No. In fact, it does less damage than normal hand grenades. Uh huh. I see. Um, why would I build these? Uh, they get a free reinforcement. Uh, yeah. Not convinced by the idea. <laughs> Martin isn't writing, he's a written haver. <laughs> he, he has written, that is true. In the past, he has written. There are instances in long, long forgotten days of yore where Martin has written something. There's also just the, um, the, again, the number. Uh, Kill the one one seven. It's the same sort of show writers. Also, sorry for making you sad, Art. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Is the same story for show writers. To a degree, yeah. That and unions. Um, the thing is, back in the day, entire TV shows were written by, like, one or two guys. These days, singular episodes are written by half a dozen fucking individuals. Because the unions say that you need so and so many individuals doing writing credits for you. Like, you gotta hire writing teams. In fact, that was... Oh, God, the machine gun again. That was in the, um, the recent uh, thingity-bob with the, um... Writer's Guild thing, right? The Writer's Guild thing, yes, I know, very descriptive. Um, one of the things they negotiated for was actually mandated writing room sizes, where you needed to have at least three people in a writing room. So you've got three dudes writing a TV show. There's a reason why we've got the old saying, too many chefs in the kitchen. Three writers writing one show is usually not going to work out very well. And indeed, looking at uh, reality, observable reality right now, that does seem to be the truth. The absolute, unflinching, unforgiving truth. I have, I have lost. Right, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Misa thinks... Right. Uh, dude, bro, infantry there. Machine gun is in that building. Okay. And he can't actually see me, even if I'm all the way over here, which is mildly annoying, actually. Team is ready. Yes, keep shooting the Captain Cod. Oh, 
Careful as to where exactly that damn thing will show up. I remember a day in time when the Germans were the campy faction. Hello, little Jeep. Goodbye, little Jeep. to actually build the building. There's two machine guns there. Yep. They will outshoot me, but not if I get the mortar up and running. I forgot about the fucking Ketnan, it's zero hit points. Okay, there we go. Uh, incoming aircraft, where? Behind me? Yes. Slowly getting buried under an avalanche of Americans. God, the Allies are such a fucking horde faction in this game, it's actually hilarious. We've, uh... Oh, we're at least holding our own points, so that's something. Alright, fall back, get the scout car, because it's the only thing I can possibly conceivably afford as far as AT goes. Alright, the Jaegers are gonna help a lot. At least I did, I think, kill both of their machine guns, so that is a very large uh, manpower malice for them. MG42, come on, man. Oh, here comes more of that. No prior shooters? Alrighty then. Upgrade that with the AT gun immediately. That's another MG, so I killed two MGs, but he just built another one. Uh, well, the mortar will be able to get up there. Second MG will come up behind it, and I think I'll be able to deal with it. God, car! Jesus fuck, you're maneuvering! Oh my fucking Christ. Okay, he's actually bought four machine guns. Sweet baby Jesus. 
I mean, he's certainly holding me off. I can't say anything other than that. I don't wonder... Oh, oh my Jesus Christ. Could you just not? Could you just stand still, you little fuckwits? Yeah, that's not... Well, it wasn't. That is, however... Okay, that crashed. I, I like that. That's a good thing. More shit. A squad of Jaeger has been requisitioned. I don't trust you, stupid little thing, to go up there and be useful. Oh, boy. I mean, at this point, do I even want that? How the fuck do you have this much stuff? I feel as if attrition should be kicking in at some point. Okay. Oh, never mind. Well, just... Why, yes, I do actually just have 17 fucking machine guns, one on top of the other. I'm glad of you, uh, nice of you to ask. Fucking sweet baby D. Okay, right. Need to reorganize. That is, I think that is the fifth or sixth machine gun now. I'm tempted to get armor, but I can't fucking afford it. Too much manpower spent. Too much manpower spent. I've got a lot of fuel, which I should probably use. Gun teams, Nebelwerfer. You know, yes. I think Stug and a Nebelwerfer would be just about exactly what I need here. Research completed. Have our territory. He's... He must. He must be suffering for manpower. So let's assume that there isn't a Sherman coming immediately. And go for G43s. Walk away, that's fine. I will actually kill you, even if you're just walking. Right. The Jaegers do have flares, which are very useful in circumstances much like these. Loads of AT guns. Clearly, he's not as low on manpower as I was perhaps hoping. Yeah. Get in cover, you can shoot that out, no issues. At least you should be able to shoot that out, no issues. That's three Jaeger squads. Never mind. Okay, fucking finally, something resembling gains. MG42! Move crew! We need to capture that location! Pioneers! On your feet, pioneers! Okay, now I would like to actually build some of those bunkers I've been told so much about. Please shoot the flamethrowers about to charge you, rather than 
Whatever's down there. Much appreciated. Capture that. going to annoy them for a little while. Second unit of plan is. Well, this mortar has earned its keep. More than one time over. I really like to go and destroy some of their uh, anti tank weaponry. Yes, yes, yes. Try to fight fucking Jaeger straight up with infantry. I'm sure that will work out very well for you. Or at least I'm sure it will work out very well for me. There we go. Nope. Uh, throw a machine gun bunker. Second bunker. Come on, bunker. Airstrike where? I'm assuming here. God alone knows and God ain't telling. I can kill that. We should spend our munitions at once. Give us orders. Give us orders. Jaegers. They're really, 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 really fucking good. I should have been building Stugs ages ago. The only reason why we're doing well right now is because for some very mysterious reason the enemy has elected to not just build 50 tanks and kill me. They still have 250 points left. We must persevere. Something I am of course grateful for, but something I am also equally confused for. You are aware of the time to set, right? Retreat points. Yes. We are losing possession of a capture point. Good night. For fuck's sake. I made that a medical bunker. That was a very dumb thing to do. Although I guess I could just... Oh. Wait, you can't... You can't garrison it. Oh. We have command points that require use. Oh, they don't let you garrison stuff anymore. Oh, that's kind of annoying. The enemy has claimed our turret. Battle group ability unlocked. The lock it is. Pioneers, light facing order. The enemy falters. They are down to 200 points. Repair bunker. Back, back in the day, I'm pretty sure you can actually uh, garrison machine gun bunkers for a bit of double machine gun fun and engaging gameplay. Now get back into fight. You need covering ground. Jaeger, standing by. Ah, yes, the special $20 skin. They stuck some branches to the stug. Send us an MG and don't skimp on the bullets this time. Adorable. Retarded, but adorable. Shoot back, dammit! Formation now! Jaeger! Fighting 
I feel like I've been sent back down to uh, absolute retard tier after the previous defeat. Because the fact that these guys have not built a single tank at this point, yet persist in building endless machine guns. It bo is both confusing and a little scary. As that is seemingly all he's building, just... Just an endless cavalcade of machine guns, one after the other, after the other, after the other. That and now AT guns, I guess. Yeah, don't, don't hurry up and firing that uh, that smoke grenade or anything. I guess used to be able to kill that pretty easily. Oh, I was about to say, if that was a single AT gun. My god, it feels like they've actually worked towards making the game even more static. Like, everyone seems to be spamming support weapons now, which I thought was the direction we wanted to get away from. I was clearly mistaken. Okay, little Jaegers. There we go, that's more like it. How many kills does this damn thing have? 15. Not bad. Victory for our forces. We fought bravely. Horde Infantry America. That's a new strategy. More and more I feel like I just want to just rush for the Jaegers and just kind of ignore the entire doctrine. <laughs> Maybe the artillery officer would be good at dealing with it. I mean, he does have the, like, AoE bomby thingy. But I really don't want to buy him because he's kind of expensive. I'm not super impressed by this deck so far. Uh, Nids Requiem donates 20 Australian buckaroodles. Thank you very much, sir. Greetings from Australia. Arch, may you use this to bring much darker to your enemies. Also, looking forward to seeing your Rogue Trader stream in the coming days. I'm looking forward to that, too. I will be playing it a few hours after release because I do have an interview on the side scrollers that day, but I will be playing it on, uh, on release day. Uh, is it, will it be Thursday for me? It'll be either Thursday or Friday for me, but for the rest of you, it'll probably still be Thursday. And Gunfox61 has been a member for, this, uh, for nine months, thank you very much. Isn't this game dead yet? It, yeah, 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 <laughs> kind of, <laughs> a little bit, maybe. I feel as okay. What, what what could be really effective with this faction actually is if you're playing with somebody, and you double one flank and you just overrun it like crazy, and then you hold it for a little bit. Right, two people on one flank just to guarantee it, and then one guy just builds three bunkers, and then rushes down the upgrade path. That would probably be a nightmare to get through, and then you can kind of ignore that flank for the remainder of the game practically, so long as you've got a Bit of mortars down there, maybe an artillery piece or two. But it's a very defensive, defensive uh, deck, doctrine, or whatever. And I thought, again, I, I thought that was exactly what we were trying to 
get away from rather than enhance. I don't know, that was always my primary complaint about COH3, that it felt so awfully static because support weapons were too goddamn good. See, people, there were occasionally people even in COH1 that went like, like triple machine gun, machine gun behind machine gun behind machine gun stuff for the border, but N not quite like this. I will say, though, it it's much better than it was, because m mortars are way better now. Mortars fires so fast. Like, you can actually kill stuff with mortars now, whereas before, you could not. Like, a single mortar just could not kill a machine gun. It took forever. So the mortar buff is, is great, but... Hmm... In a game where you, I don't know, uh, it, ugh, it makes everything so staticky. I wish the the easier counter would just be to flank it, but I don't know, maps are kind of narrow and restrictive like that. Mm. Mortars are OP IRL. Yes, they are. Mortars are great. It probably doesn't help either that everybody's trying out this doctrine for the first time. You know, trying to figure out if it works or not. Okay, let's, I, I, I don't, I'm tempted to try the goddamn reserve infantry again, but, yeah, they're too, they, they should have been like 120 fucking points or something, because 240 points, at least, at least 180, right? So you had like a, a real reason to pick them up instead of the machine guns. I don't know, maybe they're actually really good in cover? Maybe? I should try them. Yeah, well, what's the worst that can happen? I, I drag my team down into the muck and smother them with it. That's the worst that can happen, which is fine. As we wait. May I, most infantry should be more like the Jaegers, honestly, because the Jaegers are great. The, the Jaegers are amazeballs. Like, you get three Jaegers, you can deal with pretty much anything in front of you. You get a four and throw in a Shrek there, and you've got an infantry blob that can deal with pretty much anything and everything. Because the Shrek will scare away a lot of vehicles. They'll be like, oh, no, rockets, even though they miss 98% of the time. And the G43s will just butcher infantry. Just absolutely butcher them. There's nothing the Allies got in terms of infantry that stands a chance against the Jaegers. The issue there is, though, it also makes the Panzer Grenadiers kind of awful. They, I, they did get buffed. They, they weren't too bad last time I played the game. They were actually okay. So, because the Jaeger building is a bit of a trap. Now, if you go for the Jaeger building, you get a lot of kind of garbagey stuff. Whereas if you go for the other building, you get Stugs and the Nebel. And to be fair, rushing the Nebel might not be the worst thing ever, because if you want something to, uh, to counter setup weapons, the Nebel will do it. The Nebel will absolutely do it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we try that. Maybe we try that. Maybe we try that. Maybe we try that indeed. Of course, if you lose your Nebel, now. I'll be rage-inducing, as it's 360 points. And if the enemy steals your Nebel, well, then you'll just have to, you know, end, end yourself. It may sound drastic, but... Can I...? No, requires infantry company. Infantry company is going here. Ability unlocked. Okay, God fucking help me. Let's try the goddamn coastal reserves again, then. Italian infantry are ready to serve. The benefit is they don't have a call in time. Um, that's good. Kettengrad reconnaissance vehicle available. Can you build sandbags? You can. Ooh, ooh, fight. Ooh, mmm, ah. Oh, hold on. You can build that in neutral. To ooh. Okay. 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 Let's 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 try that. Let's try that. 
down here. Look at that shit. It's not worth capturing. Checking supplies and capturing ground. Hold the territory. We go anywhere we are How needed. many pioneers does it take to capture a point? Ready uh, three. Three pioneers. No more, no less. Okay, you know what? No, no. If, if, if the enemy isn't gonna... No, that's heavy cover. Like, the heavy cover is gonna be better. Okay, I'm worried by the fact that there's nobody here. That's... Unnerving. There's something middle. I mean, their damage so far is actually pretty fucking sweet, isn't it? This should hold you for now. Fixed. I feel like he's building a flamethrower back there. What do you need of us? Ready to scout. Covering ground. The enemy have taken our territory. I mean, if he's going to take this long, I might as well build an actual bunker here, too. Engines warmed up. Bit worried about my rear. As it seems somewhat remarkably unguarded. Commandant, territory sector lost. Yeah, getting getting more and more worried about my rear. Maybe a maybe a machine gun will be. Give us a yep, definitely getting really worried about my rear. Okay, sure, well if you're gonna do that, let's show the infantry how it's done. I might be able to. Sneak a point or two? Understood. MG. And MG 42 team is ready. You need demolitions? Ah, you old bastard. Man down! Commandante! Not need skating base! Ah, damn it. Yeah, that was dumb. I stuck out there for too fucking long. Uh, getting doubled. Okay, that is going to be a problem, probably. Unless the uh, MG gets there in time. Wait. They can reserve in the field? They can replenish in the field? Excuse a fucking what? Well, that's something. I, uh... I didn't expect that to be an option. Okay. Pasta teleportation technology. Huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, pas pasta teleportation technology. That is, um... That was unexpected. Hmm. That does make them a fair bit better, though. I will try the new allied faction as well, yes. In fact, we'll probably try those next, I think, yeah. That seems decent enough. Okay. Um... Hold up! Reserves! Give us a target and marching to enemy the territory. Understood. Marching orders. Covering this area with the 42. Reserve in Okay, we're gonna have to try and get over here and help our friends. Infantry! Get to ground! Avanzate! Muoversi! Or morire! Yeah, that was a terribly timed moment to try and help my friends as an enemy horde descended right then. Okay, 
still work out pretty well in the end, I'd say. Come on, pick up our unit. No. Support bunkers. New ability online. Battle group ability unlocked. Make that an anti tank bunker. Initializing. And then a Medicaid bunker in the back. Okay. Upgrade that. Then we can get an evil buffer and try and help out some more on the actual front line that matters, which is where everybody else is fighting. And it really doesn't matter too much if I hold my point if we don't hold anything else. I don't actually think that will cover it. And medic bunker. Bunker will be a medic in the the They're actually killing it with just rifle fire. Oh, that sucks. That sucks even more so, as I think I'm about to get overrun by another enormous horde of allied riflemen. Yes, and with my MG retreated, that's going to be a very large problem. I can heal you up. That will help. Or is he just gonna just ignore me and keep moving? Okay, well, that's actually ideal. Considering otherwise, you could have wandered right in behind me and done some real damage, so thank you. Make sure you're in cover, of course. Bullock. Okay. Still a little bit away from a dog. That wasn't a... No. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. That was call-in smoke. I was like, that wasn't call-in smoke, was it? Yep, yep, it was. Yep. Do not stand there. Very bad idea. Exceedingly bad idea. Exceptionally bad goddamn idea. Okay, fuck. We need fuel. Upgrade that. Stupid little kitten. Okay. See if you can maybe annoy them by capturing something. Need more infantry too. Stuart, you will be a big help against that little Stuart. What needs to be done? MG42. That Ketan is probably going to die because I'm not going to be able to pay attention to it. And so its life will end. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make right now. I am okay with its death serving a greater hole. Okay, I'd rather you don't die to die. I'd die to that, though, because that'd be a little bit annoying, actually. Well. Oh. 
The grenadiers. Hmm. I mean, my opponent has pretty much given up on the front. Oh god, he's gone now. What is that? How is it shooting? How is it shooting from? Oh, it's because it's a neutral building. That's why. It's a neutral building, and so I can't see who's shooting it. Okay. Fair enough. I was wondering how the hell I couldn't see what the fuck was shooting at me there. Okay, need to help my friends. That should be dead, I'm pretty sure. I dropped a Nebel strike. Yes, it is indeed dead. Kill it, kill it, thank you. Careful, careful. The enemy remains stubborn. We are down to 300 points. Stubborn indeed. Stubborn and in possession of a tremendous amount of artillery. Artillery officer, come up here. I've got a job for you. That is a frightening quantity of artillery that they've got raining down on my ass continuously. So much. Not a whole lot of rest for the wicked. Probably. No, let's get another Stug before we get another Nebel. There. Probably want a repair bunker up, honestly. I wish these had a weapon upgrade of some sort, like just a machine gun. A machine gun would be excellent. A, a machine gun would be ideal, would be fantastic. You know, something to give them a bit, bit more oomph, you know? Rather than just being rifle infantry that needs to be in cover to be worth a damn. Assault gun is reporting for duty. I suppose you have news of us. 
Hello, infantry. Are you sure you want to try and do this? Art thou absolutely certain? Didn't even see that that one was about to run out of hit points. That is gonna hurt though. And destroyed one of them, but not both. Still, not bad. Okay, little pioneers. Back to repairing and. Uh, I'm going to need to make you a command bunker as well. And the reserve infantry, I am still very, 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 very unimpressed by. Just uh, more or less full stop. They don't feel particularly worthwhile. In fact, I would go so far as to say that they're actually kind of shit. Can I? No, you can't transfer Panzer Grandiers with them. That would be... That would be good. And it would be, I suppose, a little bit weird if you can, you know, go like, Here, have these Italians and give me some Germans. Almost got enough from the 220mm artillery, though, which would be nice. Nice hit. Whatever that... Oh, he's already got one. Ooh. All right, that is a big boy. I mean, it looks like a World War One piece. I'm kidding, it probably is a World War One piece, knowing the fucking Italians, but still, so pretty cute little, cute little gun. Our adversary is pushing back. We are down to 250 points. Commandant, we have surplus munitions to spend. We have lost a sector. Understood. Relocating MD while we can. I don't care. shooting at us. I really want to kill that Greyhound. It's been a pain in my fucking ass this whole time. And seemingly it it just it just can't die. What are you doing, Stugs? What are you doing? That is one of those eternal questions. What is the Stug doing? Oh, did they die? They probably died. Did I kill that AT gun? Nope. Oh god, that's probably still dead. Oh my god! How the fuck did that survive? I pr he's probably just reinforcing it endlessly back there, probably. I don't know. Ability unlocked. I really need my ally to have a little bit more pushing power here. And if he builds enough chaffies, he will be able to overrun the Stugs. Unfortunately, very effectively. Upgrading to a repair facility. 
hostility. We should spend our munitions at once. suck up casualties eating machine gun fire like that, that's fine too. Really need to take that middle point. The big issue is I don't have infantry to push with, and my ally doesn't seem to have built any. Come on, come on. The middle point, you little fucking tards. Can't send those forward other without any infantry support. They will get fucking slaughtered. One Panzer Grenadier squad. And he's finally built up enough chaffies to probably just drive right over me. Yep, he has. And my ally has produced not a single anti-tank weaponry. Yep. I was just waiting for that to happen. But yes, I've built enough chaffies now. They cost nothing and they kill Stugs easy. Yep. Yeah. Ah, that was really frustrating, because we had that, if it weren't for the fact that nobody built any fucking units. So, see, this is the issue, right? With the fucking bunkers. Like, I've built a giant bunker base. Oh, cool, where is it? Oh, not on top of the victory point. Okay, then. So, you shouldn't have built that. Ah, uh, you can't- if- you, mm, mm. It's like, you're defending nothing. You are defending nothing. <sighs> really, really fucking nice. Because I'd gotten a really good defense up on the point, and I was trying to help middle. It's like, yep, nope, can't bring anything up. Mm. Ah, that was infuriating. But yes, okay. Call in infantry. Just, just no, just no. The garrison infantry are actually garbage. If I had Jaegers there, I probably could have play, pulled it off, even 2v1. Because the Jaegers could have dealt with the infantry, given them two Shreks, they could have dealt with the Chaffees. But instead I was bound up with the Panzer Grenadiers, who didn't do a damn thing. I don't know why the Panzer Grenadiers don't get Shreks. I mean, it's not like they're particularly good or anything. Alright, what about the uh, the other one, then? Uh, remove special operations, because it's garbage. Is that the one, the ranger squads? Because the ranger squads were really brutal. I mean, they were able to pay, practically kill a pioneer squad whilst under fire from a machine gun and two stokes. Frontline medical station. Ooh, yeah, that's that's the new horde tactic shit right there. Frontline medical station. 
automatically construct itself. So they get a self-building, automatically healing, casualty replacing point. Whereas the Germans need to spend 175 manpower and 50 munitions for that. Okay. We'll see how much it costs, but that sounds a little bit bullshit. See, I remember when they introduced um, for like forward field hospitals. Was it in was in two? And everybody hated it because it made the gameplay so really static. Because you rushed to a building, you melded into a field HQ, and then you just camped it, absorbing casualties endlessly. Uh, whilst just sitting on it. And the only thing they could shift you was, like, heavy artillery. And nobody liked it. And apparently that's the lessons that uh, COHT learned. More of that. Everybody should have a mobile replenishment. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know about that. Ah, that was a fury. That was a fucking frustrating game, though. Hmm. That was a very frustrating game. And in part, it was also because I was trying out the Coastal Guards, which also fucked us, because again, three squads of rangers there, they would have won the game. Because they'd have pushed off the infantry really easily, they would have murdered the anti-tank guns really easily, and then the Stugs could have dealt with the rest. But the Stugs felt bad too. I remember the Stugs were actually really good against infantry, but they did not feel it. Oh, and then the game crashes. Okay. Good, good. The game's been out for about a year, and there's still crashes in multiplayer. Fantastic. It's very, very good. I really feel like making the game more static was definitely not what Relic should have gone for with their first expansion pack. If anything, they should have added in something that completely made the static gameplay next to you useless, like a hard counter deck. Because I don't think I know a single person who enjoys the spam artillery gameplay. I, 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 unironically, I don't think I know a single human being who enjoys machine gun, machine gun artillery. At least the, uh, the Americans will get a counter to that now that they've got uh, some artilleries. That's nice. Maybe the Americans are more offensive. That would be something, because the Americans did have an enormous flaw with them in that they got no artillery whatsoever and so in a game where everything was about building machine guns that turned into a bit of a mess really quickly you cannot unlock new commanders in this one no uh, as, as the john uh, you cannot you can not you can only unlock them via entering the little numbers on your credit card that is the only unlock faction and you can't even unlock them individually. You've got to pay for the full $20 expansion. See, that's a bit annoying too, because if I could buy these two decks for $10, $5 per, okay, that's not a great value for money, but it's something. But instead, they make it $20, and you get two useless doctrines that are only playable in multiplayer. Who the fuck asked for that? Who the fuck did ask for that? What what focus group at Relic was like, yeah, you know what people really want to pay for? More single player content and not actually new missions or campaigns, just just like two new divisions. I don't I don't think anyone said that. And if they did say that, I hope they were thrown out of a window rapidly thereafter. I mean, if it was an entire campaign, sure, or a mini campaign or something, maybe. I have, but... I have lost. Shit. Uh, McCall Eleven says crashing December. Hashtag keep up the meme. I hope not. Twenty dollars for two doctrines, really? Yes, yes, chat. I mean, I just, I just don't. The more I think about that, it doesn't make sense. Like, okay, you made two other doctrines. 
All right. Uh, why? Why didn't you put them in multiplayer? Like why? Uh, actually, that's a good question. For, uh, why didn't you put them in multiplayer? What, what, are they unbalanced? <laughs> Relic. Relic. <laughs> Most of the things you release are unbalanced. That's not an excuse. Let's see. Um, I'm curious. Let's have a look at the DLC store page. Mixed. Yep. That's, uh, or no, that's the overall. That's for... Oh. Boy. Oh. Oh, okay. So the, uh, the Steam page? Ah, yeah, there you go. The Steam page is actually fallen by, um... Three percentage points by the with the release of this campaign has actually gone down three percentage points because they were a cat's whisker away from positive, and now they're back to like sixty four percent, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Relic, relic. This is not the way. The expansion is mostly negative. Yep, fifty five reviews, mostly negative. Right, how did one play Americans? Uh, one rushed armor. That's one of how one plays Americans, I think. Hmm, I can't help but notice that no one we're playing against is using the Italian deck. Uh, rifleman squad. I want to play mobile. Oh, fuck the static bullshit. I want to. I want to play with a little bit of maneuver. goddammit. Ammunition storage. Uh, nearby units explodes on death, causing damage to nearby units. Barrett artillery stop. observer. To huh? Wait, they get an artillery observer too? I thought it was the that was unique to the uh, Italians. I guess not. Oh, it's this dumbass map. I remember this dumbass map. I have already made one. The error. Immediately convert the second rifleman squad into a squad of rangers. Hang on, the barracks. Huh. So it's just like a straight upgrade to rifleman, I guess. Because rifleman mortar is that's that's the way to play. Like it's a, God, people who play Americans with mass machine guns. Like, what are you doing? It's the one faction in the game that's at least somewhat mobile, you know. And again, if your enemy just then builds, you know, three machine guns, I guess you just cry. So there is that. Oh, I'm... I'm green this time. I'm green. Good. I shall try to remember this. Alright, he is moving forward with a little jeep. A little bit of harassing fire. Always nice, always nice. Let's see. Any uh, any heavy machine gun resting in that church already, perchance? Rifleman ready! Well, aren't we a sight? All right, all right, all come here, on. That's the first rifleman. Engineers here. No route too challenging. No. no. Stand to guys up front and center. Interesting. Engineers looking for trouble. Once we capture that point, be ready for any counterattack. Come on, boys, get on it! All right. Yep. You uh, you chill there. Right. Keep an eye on those poor little grenadiers, because they are about to suffer mightily. Not, huh? 
Very nice, very nice. You guys can head back home. Are you going to run away? He's going to run away. Okay, that's probably the smart thing to do. Let's not follow him too deeply. Uh, sticky bombs would be nice. I mean, I'm presuming he's going to come back with... Uh, with a half track, with a flamethrower inside of it. That seems to be the usual le patin. How much? Uh, M8 Greyhound, 245. Not that far away. Lacking fuel bottom. Mm. Okay, it does cost 200 points. 450. Wow, 450. Oof. Boy, that is expensive infantry. That is really gosh darn expensive infantry. Hopefully, they're also very good infantry. We're going to get the... Greyhound first, though. Any support upgrade for... Ah, yes. Um... Yeah. Air. Starting work on the ASC. One in doubt. Air. We need a the word, sir. Let's go. Plug any crouch you see. We're locked and loaded. You men, get ready. Come on, ready for deployment, sir. Return fire. Pick up those feet, or so help me. Don't come the enemy have taken territory from us. Keep on them. Jesus H. Christ. Let's give them hell. Get on it. Hurry. Oh, boy, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, it's mostly engineers, so it's not about that. And that did not do any even a billionth of the damage I was expecting it to do. Holy shit. That was a pretty perfect hand grenade, and it did actually nothing. Okay. All right, I see. Well, the... Mortar rifle grenades are still fucking amaze balls. Yeah, that was a good grenade. That was a really good grenade. That was a really, really good grenade. We're uh. double time, soldiers. Uh, that was the yes, frontline medical station. The Greyhound will help out a lot against that. We're locked and loaded. On your feet. Let's go. <laughs> well, aren't we a sight for sore eyes? We're up, boys. Say the words, sir. Say the words, sir. Let's move out. Come on, give me Greyhound. Territory sector claimed by the 280. Enemy. Expensive. Fire. We're losing our capture point. We got a point but I'm gonna need it to deal with the rifle grenades, because the rifle grenades will beat me pretty badly, as apparently they've made them more accurate now. Africa Corps rushes it with the flight track. I should remember to use the strafing run more aggressively now. Uh, in fact, this is a good opportunity to use it. I get them to back off my allies a little bit. Hit them too. Sweating like a whore in church. The one good goddamn quote they've got in this game. The one good voice line they got. 
Which is a shame, considering Relic was literally, you know, famous for their excellent voice acting. 225, okay. Uh, not super cheap, but not particularly expensive either. Very good upgrade. Greyhound. So, must be in territory. What about these guys? Rangers are reporting in. They're eager to get started. Rangers on the field. Boys, right, wait. Let's move out. Keep it tight. Hmm. Good words, sir. Commander, we've lost the sector. Listen. All right, fellas, on me. Keep it ordered. We're up, boys. Can't stand around all Let's go. You men, keep an eye out for crowds. Any machine guns or anything waiting for me? A victory point is under attack. We must act. Boys away. Skies are clear. No. Did they perhaps go somewhere else? Mr. Tori, they're always fun to deal with. Make a decision. As in, no, they're not. Not at all. We're losing a fuel point. Hmm, they've been upgrading fuel points, haven't they? Or is that just a garrison thing? Alright, let's check their fuel points. Okay. Rangers are pretty good. I would have liked to actually capture that point, but. Commander, we should spend our munitions. We should spend a lot of things. A chaffy? Defend our victory point. We're losing it. No. Say the words, sir. Speak low. Say no recon. Shoot any go kill us two steppers. Say no recon. Shoot any Let's just go for two greyhounds right now. It's a little bit special, but I like the idea. Lots of good anti-infantry. Oh, they, they're placing mines. They are. Yep. Now, in any other COH game, that would have been triggered by that massive explosion that just happened on top of it. But not in COH3. No, no, no. In COH3, it's on high explosives don't actually do anything for reasons completely and utterly unknown to every single last living being on Earth. Forty-five reinforcement cost. Ouch. I feel like my guy is not attacking me almost at all. He must be saving or ganging up with somebody or somebody. Uh, it makes me very skeptical. That, and we also don't have middle, which makes me want to go middle, but... That's what I'm going to do. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. Let's go middle and try and get something done. Oh god, they're gonna fortify like mad there, aren't they? Holy shit. That is gonna require some artillery. That was not at all the path I wanted you to take, vehicles, but, uh, okay. Okay. 
Oh, you can still see me, can you? How the fuck can you still see me? I am very far away. Come on, six more seconds. That was expensive. Uh, who just dropped? One of my team members dropped. And one of theirs dropped. No, a, a Monicus. What? Samson? Alright, one of ours and one of theirs dropped. Pandoria, Pandoria, Nizam, Fusilier. Okay, everybody's just dropping. I think people are disconnecting. I don't know, actually. But a lot of people are dropping. What? Where are you building this tank depot? Oh, okay, that's fair enough. Alright, well, I helped middle, I killed vehicles middle, I killed infantry middle, and I did let us take it, but... I do need to actually kind of go back and deal with my guy, as he has not helped his teammate at all, but he simply just sat there and waited for me to leave. Can my allies hold it? No. Alright. Rangers Combat patrol, in. boys. Sub lucky. All right, boys. Advance. Let's see how much shit's been placed up here in my absence. Our opponent has all victory points under their control. Act now. I have dropped a weapons crate. Oh, so you've got to buy their weapons separately. That is territory lost. Weird. Uh, he's building yet more mines. Now that, that was what we call a good fucking grenade. That was a very, very exceptionally good grenade. We do! I'm tragically just a little bit too busy right now, video game, but I'll... I'll get to it. Um... Hellcats. Just spamming Hellcats, I think, is gonna be... the correct decision here. And... Let's build that. Standing by, Commander. Ah, right. Well, never fucking mind, I guess. He's already got Panzer threes. Let's see. Can that hold out for long enough for the... No. Um... Let's see if I can trick him. Yeah, mistimed it a little bit. Still, he's being awfully aggressive. Fucking Gustatori. They have five bajillion trillion zillion hit points. And they hit like trucks. Can not. Once 
once more. We got the tools. Let's get on it. Let's advance. Lock and load, Ranger. Command points are available. Nice. One of our Fire forces is on the way. Our territory is cut off from supply. Reconnect it. Poor, poor little Greyhound. You've lived through a lot. Yeah, this is... Most of the people have already dropped and I'm not gonna rely on AI to help me out. Better get a game with actual players in it. I was doing pretty good there. I was dealing with my guy, and the rangers are very good, if also absolutely ludicrously fucking expensive. But again, this is the issue. If your team is two points down, it doesn't matter if you're beating your guy. It is 100% irrelevant, because it's a game of majority victory points. We are all stated, donated five dollars, thank you very much, and says, hello Arch, hope you're well. By the way, we have a word for offing someone by throwing them out a window. Defenestration. Defenestration. No, Doman, I held top, but then I had to go and help middle. And I killed quite a lot. What, two infantry units, a machine gun, and their Ostwind? But we didn't manage to take middle. Or we did, but we didn't hold it for long. And then my opponent, who didn't help his team, got to fortify a lot. I think I could still have him, because the, the Gustatori would be an issue, but... I think he could have been dealt with. But when you're two point down mid-game like that, and, like, two people are playing, meh. Are there any negatives of quitting your game for griefing your own team by quitting for no reason? No. None whatsoever. Uh, and honestly, I think that is actually for the better. Because, again, nine times out of ten, you can pretty much tell which direction the game is going in in the first five minutes. So making people stay for another 10, 20, 30 minutes after the game's already practically done. Yeah. It seems like a waste of everyone's time at that point. This is a new map. Oh, water features. I wonder if they have any gameplay rationale or reason for existing whatsoever. I'm betting no. Hmm. Tempted by the truck, actually. Deploying engineers now. I'm actually kind of wondering why I bother... Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, I was about to say, why do I even bother going Engineers? Well, it's because it does give you the opportunity to upgrade points later. Though, with the cost of the Rangers, I'm wondering if, uh... That's a... Manpower expense this, uh... Deck can entirely hold. So it's 200 for the Riflemen. And then there's another 200, 260 for the rifle, and then 200 for the rangers. They have 460 manpower infantry. Oh boy. We're ready to go, sir. Snatch that location. All right. He used up the majority of your hit points to take that. I'm happy with it. Now then, where is your machine gun? Where's your machine gun? You hiding it back here? You're trying to lure me over to it? No, no, you're just retarded. Okay. Well, remember, your enemy simply being a bit dumb is always an option. That is always a potential opportunity. 
That's probably going to be filled with flamethrowers awfully soon, so I'm just going to go triple rifleman. In the hope of dealing with that. There's the machine gun. Okay. And I was suppressed so fucking... Oh, God. So fucking quickly. All right. I actually like this map. This map is actually pretty wide, which means it's actually theoretically possible to flank on this map, which is unusual. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Yes. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you, you very much. Thank you, you very much indeed. Alright, um... Mortar? He's Wehrmacht, so he's unlikely to, um... Uh, mechanized or um, air support? Air support. Cause I felt like I had a decent amount of ammunition last time. We got the engineers looking We're for up, trouble. Boys. Double time, soldiers. Engineers standing. Two guys up, front sir. and center. Enemy territory. Ready for deployment. Come on. For cover. Ain't got all day. Uh, do I have? What yes, yes, I do have three rifles. Get ready. On our way, sir. A fuel point is being seized by the enemy. We're locked and loaded. Alright, right, I think we're gonna go just Grenade! Move, move, move! Straight for the light armor here. You know, you really should be getting that mortar out of there. For reasons that should be getting painfully obvious. Yep. 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 Alright, come on! So much for peace and quiet! God damn it! God damn it! Rifles, shift those asses! Private, take the time! Drop those drop orders! Nice. Might as well flank the enemy a little bit whilst I'm down here. And pick that up. They're not going to need it anymore. Oh, well, seeing as I actually have some manpower spare. Let's get that up to you. That's a go, boys! I really feel as if the game is taking pity on me now. It's like, oh, you lost last game? Well, here. Allow me to put you in a lobby with people who literally can't breathe unassisted. Surely you can win this. Yeah, maybe. I haven't seen my, uh, my allies fuck up yet, so I can't tell for sure. I like that ridge, though. That's a really nice little map feature. Like, charging up and fighting on the ridge. That's kind of cute. And that's pretty kawaii, as one might say. How about I just press a button and make her entire army either flee or get suppressed or actually just outright murder? Look at that. See, air is actually pretty good. I quite like air, due to the fact that you can just do that for the cost of a fucking hand grenade, basically. You can also do the dive, uh, the dive bombing run, of course, which is uh, potentially devastating. Oh. Flat thingy thingy, okay. I'd love to kill it, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be quite careful with that. 
At least I sure as fuck would be. And thus, the Greyhound sat there, being shot at, as the enemy thing did absolutely nothing to the Greyhound. Enemy down to 250 points. And then, yet another machine gun died, and yet another German cried. In fact, they're crying a lot right now, and they're dropping even quicker. Short Barrel 75, that's a rare fucking upgrade. For good reasons, too, as the Short Barrel 75 is, well, absolute and utter complete fucking garbage. Ooh, AT Bunker. Okay, that's a little bit spicy. Let's not. Well, that was mildly infuriating, as I don't feel like that should have been able to hit me through the solid hill, but... The video game apparently disagrees. I haven't actually built any rangers yet. I probably should. Alright, let's build a little AT gun then. Come on. Let's get this over. Scouts, lead the way. Have they not reclaimed that? No, surely they've reclaimed that. They would be mad not to. See, I really want the Sticky bomb thingies, because the sticky bomb thingies would be great right now against this armor nonsense, but I also really kind of just want to save the money for something that might actually be useful for longer than five seconds. Especially as the grenades were decidedly disappointing the last time I used them. AT gun will have to do. And uh, no, they haven't reclaimed that. Okay, well. Yep, sorry, buddy. Good late. likely to be a lot of machine guns up there, isn't there? Oh god. Uh, no, they noticed. It would have been very fun if that had hit all of that. It would have been downright amusing, actually. Reactive artillery barrage and a big one of that. Let's not sit there with that plan. Artillery is pretty good, actually. I mean, that is a huge fucking AOE that they're putting down. They're putting it down pretty darn continuously, too. Right. Frontier Station. Let's build you where? Can I build you on the water? I cannot build you on the water. Can I build you here? I can build you there. Let's try and have it be taken away from us a little bit slower next time. I mean, to be fair, there's barely anyone actually on their team anymore. Which is why the AI is suddenly going to start attacking down here a lot, I imagine. Oh, well. 
I don't need to worry about that half track anymore. Go heal up. I don't know if there are actually anybody left on the opposing team right now. I am genuinely unsure. Atlanta tank gun, I feel like you're getting a little bit frisky. Too frisky. moment of concentration later, but that worked out. Alright. And the MG down there is still alive. Somehow. I probably should actually spend some of these points as well. Um, temporarily Detroit Three rifle and two bazooka squads to location. Like, fucking excuse me? What? Really? Well, that seems hilariously fucking broken. Really? I mean, that's what it was. That's like a thousand plus manpower that you can spawn in for 120 munitions. Are you sure that's a good balancing decision, Relic? I remember when you tried something like this some other time. And I remember how hilariously broken it was. I mean, I suppose they're all, if they're only there for 60 seconds, that's not a long time. Still, that just killed a fucking flat feeling. Commander, we've lost the sector. Sherman tank finished and ready. Hmm. I feel like that's a bit much, honestly. Didn't really get to play with the Rangers today either. Uh, this game is. You need a lot of manpower in this deck. Which means the additional 200 manpower expense is, uh, 450. Ah, oh, wait. Four hundred and fifty manpower. That is a tremendous cost. That was not what I meant to do, video game, please no. 
I keep... Is that COH1 art? No. No video game. No. 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 I don't want to be Jerry. I don't wish to learn how to play the video game. I don't want to. Damn, this is a long, unskippable segment. There we go. Go away. I don't know why quick match isn't just on the first fucking menu. I mean, it's quick match. You'd think it, you'd, you know, you quick, quick match. You just click on it because it's a, it's a quick match, you know, quick, quick match. Or cover the industrial complex. Stuff and stuff. Well, these are a bit more generous than they used to be. That's nice. That's that's one good change. It's a bit easier to earn the stupid in-game per stupid in-game currency option thingies, which you can't really buy any for either. But you know, like, that's what can you buy with your stupid in-game currency that you gain once a week? Well, you can buy brown machine gun. Oh goody. Oh oh fucking oh fantastic. Or a Grey half track, which I would actually like Grey half track. In fact, I feel like, okay, uh, there is no Felgrau uh, one whatsoever. Like, there is no way to make your whole German army in field grey, which annoys the shit out of me. It's like, why not? Like, now everybody has to have mismatching pants and jackets. Fucking why? I don't want that. I want them to be grey. Instead, everybody has to be olive colored. Why? Well, we're fighting in Italy and the Italians were gay, so they colored everything, including both invading and occupying soldiers. Somehow. Oh boy, this map. I know this map. Uh, artillery that can place down camouflaged beacons that calls down artillery. Camouflaged beacons that calls down artillery on nearby units. Deploying engineers now. That sounds spicy. I'm tempted. I'm wondering how camouflaged those beacons are. I mean, I remember there was a way to actually, you can actually just spam scouts that was... I wouldn't go so far as to say it was a particularly effective strategy, but it sort of kind of in a way worked in a pinch. Because they've actually got decent DPS. In fact, they've got actually really, really good DPS. It's just that, you know, they have no hit points and they die instantly, so you never actually get to experience any of that DPS. I should try those two. Within 80 meters range. What the fuck is 80 meters range in this game? Point secure. Keep alert. Germans might probe the area to see if we're still here. We got this. Movie dumbasses. Oh yeah, okay. Engineers, get moving. Now we're clearing a path. Well, find a way. Well, that unit is already basically dead. Commander, you better pull your thumb out of your ass right now. What's our target? Let's go. No lagging behind. Combat engineers. Come on, orders coming down the pipe. We're moving out, fellas. What is that? Basic infantry unit? Scouts, loaded. What we want is over yonder. Ready for come on. Engineers looking for first. Not a chance. Not a fucking chance. In fact, they might even get killed on the way out. That's how terrible they are. No? Okay, well that's something. 
More riflemen. Indirect fire crew ready for the go. Damn, I feel like I retreated very early and I still barely made it out with those little idiots. Indirect fire crew ready for engage on site. Riflemen are ready. Okay, the general look of the map right now is abysmal. Like we got a purpose. Abysmal indeed. Abysmal is the word. The flamethrower might be very useful. Ah, that's right. I don't have the Healy thing yet. Very aggressive. Pays a... Worked out for him, but I don't have my mortar out there. Oh, very, very aggressive. Okay. Sent everything he had up there. Oh. Alright, I'm still a real observer it is. Very, very aggressive. It's keeping me from the top. And they managed to... Oh, yeah, this is... This is over. God damn. Yep, I'm starting to get the vibes again, where it's like one pity match against complete and utter idiots, then a match against people who are obviously way better than you, and then another pity match. I... That is the fucking style, isn't it? Like, my entire team has gotten completely mulched. I'm not so exactly doing well either. Artificial fucking matchmaking for the fucking win. Alright, how many machine guns are sitting up here now? You men, get ready. Order just shake a leg, fellas. Incoming! Enemy infantry, close it in! Grenades, move! That's a go, boy! They come go, speed or so help me! Order, we've got the two! All right, get out of here! Yeah, fuck it. I can't be asked. I'll get another one. That's, like, so fucking obvious. We have zero map control. Every single point lost. This was what was happening all the time as well when I was playing this with uh, Kibbs and the other ones. We would win a match, then we would lose a match. And we would win a match, and we would lose a match. And win a match, and lose a match. And that was just constant. As if it was desperately trying to keep you at 50% win rate. You'd go up against people that you were obviously better than, which was the last game. That guy was a retard. And then you'd come up against people who were obviously better than you. Hmm, seems like that hasn't changed much. <laughs> A two, three minute wait timer in between doesn't help much either. Honestly, I think maybe if they wanted to do this, they should have just gone for the Dawn of War 2 fa formula and made games like much quicker. Like, aim at being done at 20 minutes instead of the 30-40 that these can last? And yes, I just had a look at the reviews as well. It's uh, not doing well. It is not doing well at all.
Mostly negative. 30% positive. 55 reviews. Yep. I don't think this is it. I'm really not feeling it. I don't... I don't think this is going to be what fixes COH3. I don't think this is what's going to be fixing COH3 at all. Listen up. Clearing a path. We'll find a way. He's He's going going to real I'm tempted to try spamming scouts, honestly. Maybe even just play more defensive until I can get more rifles out. Engineers on the field. And engineers. Let's actually wait to make any contact until I've got a couple of rifles and a mortar. We got the tool. Capture complete, sir. Waiting on you. Buy the obligatory smoke so that I can at least have a chance to not get pinned by the first machine gun I run into. Well, you'll still be pinned, but you'll be able to make it stop shooting you. Eventually. Rifleman squad deployed. Oh, people are being nice in chat. That won't last long. I'm even kind of tempted to maybe just go for fuel. Nah, they'd burn that. Quit lagging behind. If they have any sense, at least, Look they will shot, burn fellas. that. We're up. Engineers, engineers, We're all here, sir. Come on, boys. Capture orders well, just came in. Come on, little rifleman. Run, 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 run. Second rifleman and mortar first. Location secured. Mortar. All quiet. Engineers here. Engineers looking for trouble. So far, so nothing. Let's get to it, fellas. That's free, right? Yes, it is. I feel like I am doing the exact opposite of what I said I was going to be doing. Nothing. All right. Interesting. We got one of our sectors is now in enemy hands. We should head up and try to help our ally then, who's currently getting overrun. a nasty little boy sitting on top of my, my allies dudes like that. Don't want to shoot my friends. That'd be cruel and unusual. Almost three squads. And... Finally, they send something to capture the fuel, and it's a Ketten card, of all things. Engaging frontline elements. I don't know if a Ketten card counts as a frontline element. I really don't think it does. Jump to it, boys! 
And yet again, I'm getting that distinct sensation as if the game is like, Here, these people are way better than you. Oh, you lost? Well, here. These people just booted up the game for the first time last day, yesterday. As they are completely ignoring all the fuel on the entire map. Mechanized support this time. It'd probably help if I brought in the last rifleman squad as well. this mortar hasn't killed these people yet. And now I suddenly wish I'd gone with the, uh, the airborne one. Damn, has he just gone for infantry? I think he has. Cover him. Enemy movement near victory point. Oh god, get out of here. Oh, Mortar, are you hitting anything? We've lost the territory sector. Peace and quiet. Yes. Well, you kind of are. They've taken our victory point. Mortar troops, you've got the shot. Turn your head and you've got the fire. One of those assholes. Mortar troops. Wait a minute. Boom, 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 boom. I kind of want to go back and build a thing, but... Or... Considering the enormous fuel advantage, I think just going straight for a Sherman is going to be the most uh, devastating play. This endless firefight is still going. It's been going so long that my allies actually here to... Oh, that was quick. Oh. Yep, scouts still have no hit points. Italians relinquished rangers for us. About time. Italians relinquished rangers for us. Rangers are reporting in. They're eager to get started. Did I hear that correctly? Or battalion. Battalion, Italian. Battalion, Italian. I'm hoping Battalion, because if the Italians have uh, given us Rangers, then I have multiple questions, many of which will be difficult to answer for the average American, frankly. Right, so what does this give me? Bingo fuel A flamethrower? Move, you fucking tar burglars. Come on, move. Time to call and a browning. I feel like these two weapons are not really Defend our victory point. We're losing it. We need a cash necessarily what I'm looking for. Pipe down. Order strap on those. You men, get ready. But I guess I'll take it. A browning and a flamethrower. That is an interesting squad composition. Is that a... Thompson, Thompson... Okay, yeah, they're a melee, they're a close quarter squad. They've all got Thompson, it looks like. How long till Sherman? Not long at all. I mean, to be fair, a full unit of Thompsons with a uh, flamethrower. It's not a bad deal, is it? So the German Reich found itself 
very badly outshot. We have infantry standing by, Commander. Come on, one more flamethrower blast. Oh, Jaegers. I know Jaegers, and I know just how fucking ridiculously dangerous they are. We're just going to rush them down. Your best bet against rangers is to get really close and personal. They're still going to kick the shit out of you, but at least then you've got a decent shot at kicking the shit out of them in return. Doing some decent damage, although I didn't inflict a single casualty there, so... So much for that theorem. There's the Sherman. I'm still starving for manpower, but at least I have a Sherman now. And there's a very good chance that is going to buy me the life of that little lift. If the Sherman learns how to aim in the interim. Come on, he's got like a sliver of HP. Good boy. That's the way you do it. Ooh, unfortunate. Let me send you a repair lad there. Alright, let's have a peek at what's in the middle. A absolute ass load of bunkers, that's what's in the middle. Got those cute little punching mega thingies. Very adorable. Mm. Yeah, that's probably too much shit. Would have liked to kill that. Uh, more Shermans or more Rangers? More Shermans or more Rangers? More Shermans first. Give us something to do. Point taken. Setting up for action. Actually, you know, if I get lucky, I might still be able to kill her with a mortar. I don't expect the mortar to be able to do much damage, though. Oh, in fact, I don't imagine the mortars are going to do anything against that. Alright, go, go, little Sherman. It seems like my pink person has decided to uh, go up middle and completely abandon bottom, which I don't know if is an intelligent decision, because that means that they're going to be really, 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 really badly starving for fuel, and they're going to be starving for fuel permanently. Guten Tag, my little schnitzels. Feel the wrath of General Sherman. Okay, fair enough. That was a lot of shit. That was a lot of shit. Uh, don't block the other Sherman, little Sherman, no. Ah, of course, the one time they actually get a good fucking shot off. Come on. No. Ah, damn it. Well, that was infuriating. Alright. More... More rangers. Or a howitzer. Do you want a howitzer? Kind of want a howitzer. 
400 fucking mat, Jesus. Okay, well, no more ranges then, I guess. 400 manpower, that better be a good thing, whatever the hell that is. That better be awesome. That or better kick a frightening quantity of that. Okay, build that there. And then build an ass load of mines to protect it. Increase damage to emplacements. That sounds good. I mean, honestly, we don't even need to bother cracking them in the middle. Not really. We could literally just sit here and wait until they die, but... That wouldn't be tremendously interesting. Commander, we should spend our munitions. Working on it. Rangers. We have a squad of rangers ready to go. Go get yourself some of those fancy weapon thingies. Five howitzer. Double. You have command points ready to spend. A victory point is under attack. Well, fuck you very much too. Oh right. Actually, do pick up your weapons while you're at it. Bazooka. Two bazookas. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Come on. You don't have range, do you? Well, admittedly, if they just go around in a blob of four or five people, they will they will get something done. I'm gonna need more Shermans. Maza. Normally I would want to rush that immediately, but... That is in range, right? Yes it is. Lovely. Really need some goddamn healing set up at some point so I can stop throwing units at the third hit points in at the enemy. Hmm. I'll take the on the move accuracy. Oh god, I can't even. I can't even afford them. <laughs> I, I feel like the rangers might be a bit too much. I'm down to 188 manpower with just three squads of rangers. Or not even that, two squads of rangers. And they're kind of sucking my economy dry here. I should get that building. Yeah. Where's the tents? Oh, we got the tents. Um. We'll get the bullshit thing. And why can't you build? Why can't you build the thing? Actually, hello there, little martyr. Depending upon what else is down here. Just you. Okay, that. 
Why? Artillery cooldown complete. Can't I build the thing actually? Eyes up, up. Go. Oh, because it's that thing. All right. Well, fucking derp. Um. Seems a waste. Just build it over there. Where everything else is. No, that's... that wasn't bad. I thought that was a strength. That is not a strength. That is the unbelievably good I kill every tank on the map ability. Yes, that is a very good ability. I am losing way too many fucking Shermans. Way too many motherfucking Shermans. Yeah, well, if you can lure them over there, there are mines, eh? Special ability. Increase area of effect radius by two. Never entry units around a house. Get a combat boost when it fires. That sounds utterly and completely useless. Let's not do that. Come all this way to bitch. Come on. Move. You are the man. We're off. Attack out and move. For the first time in a very long time, I will actually be able to heal my units. Rapid Artillery Barrage. And I managed to hit my own troops a little bit. Oh yeah, you need to get out of there, otherwise all of your shit's gonna die. Actually, I think they might have nerfed that a little bit. I feel like that did a lot more damage before. Like, I swear to god, I've seen tanks just disappear in single strays from that shit. Placed an 88 there. How very unwise of you. Oh, straight. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Good. Most of you got out of the way. Remember to destroy that completely, please. Jump. And we'll probably finally get that damn 76 upgrade too. Hello. You lads take that prior shit that shit that shiny pretty thing back home, please. You're gonna have to take the long way. There seems to be a lot of oh shit in middle or something. Ah, uh, gotcha. I seem to be unable to hold on to any fucking Shermans today, don't I? Oh, okay. Well, I won't be able to keep the pretty thing for long, very long, will I? Fucking Christ. I don't usually lose this many goddamn Shermans, but today is apparently a very special day. Commander, we should spend our munitions. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. Good God. Oh, come on. 
get that damn thing. Come on, one more. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Thank you. You may now leave the enormous blob of enemy infantry. Artillery cooldown complete. Say the words, sir. Let's move out. Losing too Let's many done, goddamn on. dudes. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, God damn it. They're calling us in, fellas. Break it down. Make ready and move. I feel hesitant at building more Shermans today. We got our well, I do suppose we need them. Orders just came down. And then we need to wait a little while to actually reinforce these little tarts. Okay, that's a little bit of speculative preemptive fire. If I get lucky, they'll still be there in about three seconds. Yep, they were still there. And boom. All right, I want to try to keep this one alive for a little while, would you? It's fire. Forward, my little Americans. Into the furnace of fire yet again. Once more, throw yourself upon the none too gentle mercies of your adversaries. vehicle. Don't see those much, but considering the quantity of wrecks around, I can see why they might be useful. Blow that up, please. Jesus. Holy shit, I cannot keep anything fucking alive today, can I? Well, at least I can get a little bit of revenge, hopefully. My fucking god. No, 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 no. Too fucking eager on the fucking tanks. I seem to think that I have a lot more armor than I do. A repair point. I would like one of those. It is a hard day to be a Sherman crew member in the American army. Very hard day. I'm wondering if that is why the guy was spamming chaffies instead of shirts. I'm starting to wonder if that might not have been the correct option. Or Hellcats. You know, something... A bazooka? I just, I just, I well, one bazooka, one... I would prefer it if I could choose the upgrade package, honestly. Like, it'd be really nice if I could choose to have some of them have double brownings. Um, some of them have double bazookas, because the double bazooka is good. I just wish I had a little bit more, you know, anti-infantry firepower, too. Down the chain. Fifteen up. kills. Not bad. Oh, at least it's not my tank dying this time. Artillery cooldown complete. Let's do destroy that. Luckily, my ally has actually managed to retain some of his armor instead of constantly throwing it away in futile pursuits of enemy vehicles that he doesn't even kill, so... 
That's a good plan, a good thing. Sherman crew number six. Please don't ask any questions as to what happened to the preceding five. You won't like the answer. Now see, that's a Sherman column right there. Four fucking fireflies. That's just nasty. Now the Rangers are good. They are beyond expensive, but they are good. It is the last of its kind, of a dying breed. I do think this this is definitely the much better of the uh, the two additives. Because the Rangers are nice and mobile. They're very aggressive. Nice close quarters infantry. Lots of Thompsons. Lots of accuracy. Lots of violence. Would be nice if they weren't quite so ruinously expensive, but they're definitely better than the Italian battle group, which is just build bunkers and sit on your ass, hoping that the enemy doesn't bother to do anything about it. Which is not necessarily the most intriguing gameplay. Hmm. Why are you red if you're not going to give me anything? Destroy 15 vehicles as the US forces. Oh. If I kill four more vehicles, I'll get another um, 250 blue thingity bobs. Which will then be able to afford me a brown rifle loot. Yay. They have boosted by quite a lot how much uh, merit you get. Which is nice. That's good. I do like that. Because uh, the merit grind was kind of awful. But I also noticed that they haven't actually added any cosmetics to the storefront either. So I was like, okay. God, they're bad, too. That's the worst part. It's like, would you like uh, stormtroopers, but brown? Uh, no. Would you like Hellcat, but blue? 2,000 merit. <sighs> I'd like the gray motorcycle. Oh, that's 2,000 merit for a motorcycle. Yeah. Listen, it's really expensive to uh, change the color palette on a skin. Takes at least five minutes in Photoshop. I do hate also how they mock them. Like, this is a legendary skin. Oh, legendary, is it? Is there any way to get it without paying for it? No. Oh. Oh. Then why did you bother? Like, oh, God. We need to get rid of all of this legendary stuff, okay? This entire idea that was developed by... More, by, by MMOs, basically. By World of Warcraft, or Diablo, more correctly. Like, by Blizzard, more broadly. That everything needs to have a color attached to it. We need to strangle this idea. Because no, it isn't a legendary skin. It's a skin pack. That's all it is. It's just more expensive than the others. If there's no way for it to drop, then it, it, there's no point in the rarity. What the fuck? Like, we decided to make it yellow. Why? Eh. Seems more expensive that way. Literally, that is probably the actual case. They thought to themselves, okay, well, if we tell people that it's an exclusive digital good, uh, which you can acquire by, you know, reading them your credit card number, then people will want it. No. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Bud Burns in chat says that it's kind of a catch one too. Make flashy reskins and it's unrealistic. Make realistic recalls and it's boring muted colors. Yeah, to a degree. But 
you still have a lot of options. You can still have a lot of camouflage colors, right? You can still have a lot of different colors. And honestly, go a bit crazy with it. Just go a bit nutty with it, okay? Go over to GW and beg on your filthy Canadian knees. Can we have a collaboration, please? And they'll probably spit in your face because you're relic in 2023. You're not worth much, but try, huh? And then be like, oh, can I ha can I have like a, a 40k skin? I I'd, I'd I'd want that. I would want that. And make it so that people can turn it off if they want to. Make it so that people can go into their options and click. I don't want to see other people's skins. So that that way, the people who want to play with realistic stuff can just click that. Voila. Not a problem. And people who want to play with derpy shit can just leave that off and keep it on. Maybe even make it so that you can select which skins you want to see and which skins you don't want to see to custom tailor make your preference. This has always been the goddamn issue with Relic, though. They In COH2 they did this, in Dawn of War 2 they did this. So we're going to have microtransactions because we need to pay for our video games. Like, okay, how are you going to do them? Well, we're going to release uh, one pack of microtransactions and then we're never going to touch it again. Mm-hmm. You know that half of the point with this, like, microtransaction stuff is to continuously come up with new stuff, right? It is to continuously entice the player to be like, Would you like Acadian Guardsmen? Mm, maybe. Would you like Blood Pact? Maybe. Would you like people in pink camouflage uniforms? Perhaps. If you simply update the store once and then leave it for a year... Nobody's going to be interested. Nobody's going to click on your storefront anymore. You're not going to sell anything because nobody can fucking bothered. Mm. Or, as Captain Legbird says there, just adding in a fucking army painter. Just add in an army painter and then allow people to buy paraphernalia. You know? Allow them to buy, uh, like, cute weapons or something. Something. I feel like the engineers have betrayed me a lot. I'm gonna try the old spamming Pathfinder thing and see how that works. Because what you should do is there should be actually microtransactions. Instead of charging an ass load for everything, you should go, okay, um, this is a helmet. It costs a dollar, uh, and you can put it on anyone you want, however many times you want, and you can color it too in the in-game army painter. Like, go ahead, get 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 crazy, go on. And or like, okay, uh, this is like a pair of, of boots, just simple, stupid-ass boots. You can color them any way you want, etc. Just leave it entirely up to the player, and just sell them individual stuff. Now, granted, this would work way better in a uh, game like Dawn of War. In fact, it would work amazingly well in a Dawn of War game. It would work fantastic in a Dawn of War game. But also why it was such an enormous missed opportunity for Relic that they just didn't do it in uh, Dawn of War 2. Uh, okay, well, they are still absolute, unironic, utter and complete garbage. Holy fuck, they didn't even scratch that unit. Wow, that was... That was far worse than I'd expected it to be. Mm. Well, um... You, you can't shoot out of this fucking building, can you? No, you can't. Ugh. Oh, well, at least they'll keep that unit busy whilst the machine gun deals some actual damage to them. Oh, shift target, shift target. Nope. Mildly amazed that none of them have really done any damage yet. Ready for duty. Have I got enough to upgrade them yet? I do not. 
That is what we call a true tragedy. Beacon. Cannot use this ability. Artillery strike. Oh, okay, that's not the. Uh, uh, that's something else. That is not the calls in artillery on stuff nearby button. Okay. That's the mortar thingy. Let's not stand inside of that. And there's the flamethrower. Yep. Hard retreat. With the pioneers there, it might be able to hold out against it. Yep, just barely. Right. Well, this is a fairly brutal goddamn fight so far. Rather inconclusive too, I'm afraid. Building a barracks. Don't like it. Ow. Okay, well, he killed the bunker that was being constructed. That's very good. Is that... Is that actually all the hit points you have? Oh, no. You were enforcing still. Okay, good. Alright. Uh... No real forward momentum much here. Air support. I sure hope these have got enough firing to hurt that thing. I mean, not fucking really. And that was our, our ally, wasn't it? No, it was one of them. Okay, why the hell? Yep. Ah, the flamethrower half track. An annoying and unfortunately effective strategy. I'll finish that upgrade. I want a Greyhound. ASC research is complete. Yeah, the building lots of artillery observers idea. Um, no, they're they're actually they're they're pretty they're pretty terrible as things turn out. They're uh, they're pretty bad. Wait, can I not? Why can I not select all of you in one? Oh, okay, weird. Not a great idea. Do not, uh, do not follow in Archer's footsteps in that regard. Uh, Greyhound's forty fuel, right? Yes. Right. Let's hold out for it then. You don't even have your spotting thing, do you? No, you do not. Okay, they're all coming down here now. Uh, they did cancel that building. Okay. 
Okay, and that was one of our guys dropping. Presumably because he just lost everything because flamethrower truck. Nobody enjoys the flamethrower truck strategy, and yet COH always keeps adding it back in. Like, this is fun, isn't it? No. Chaffee? No, let's just go with the... We're locked and loaded. Let's advance. Find cover! Hold back that oh. No point in trying to go over there. This, this is such cancer. They've actually just built bunkers everywhere now, and we can't actually kill them. Which is mildly hilarious and retarded at the same time. Need anti-tank stuff. What? M1. M1 would kill the bunkers, or I might simply just buy more mortars. Honestly, I feel like just just buy more mortars. Um, they've got all the fuel. I think we're about to get destroyed by a million armored vehicles. Sneaking suspicion that's about what's about to happen. Let's go secure top, then maybe swing down. What is that? Oh, a humble. Chris has left match. Everyone's just disconnecting, aren't they? Was that they or us? That was they. This is a very, very weird and dumb match. Exceedingly so, I'd say. On our way, sir. Combat patrol, boys. Let's go. Jesus. Jesus. Get Jeff through the hole. We're locked. Come on. Jeff, you ain't got all day. You have command points ready to spend. I do. A munitions point is being attacked. And I think I'll spend it on the howitzer. Now that's an AI unit right there, because the Poltic thingy is really, really bad. It's somehow still alive, though not for much longer, I imagine. Gonna need to be quite careful here. Really? Do not tell me you're gonna. Really? You you drove straight. Oh, and you're gonna you're gonna go that way. Okay. You drove straight into an anti-tank gun, six fucking infantry unit, and a greyhound, and you fucking get out. Christ on a fucking bike. Christ on a fucking bike indeed. Why did you go over there? I wish the artillery observers would, uh, I don't know, call in some artillery, maybe. That'd be nice. Clearly not a part of their agenda, of course, but it would still be nice. Oh, 
Hmm. Tempted to start building chaffies. Of course, yes. I was about to say, you're gonna retreat through the enemy, aren't you? Only through a little bit of the enemy. Uh, right. What do we do? Do we go for Sherman's to try and break that open? Or Chaffees to protect... Honestly, I think Chaffees. I and honestly think Chaffees. The okay, if they're gonna go for Marders, then even more so. Free Marder. You should never complain about free modders. Where's that AT gun? There, okay. We're on our way! Chaffee, light tank is accounted for! Massive fuel disparity is beginning to is beginning to be get felt. Ah, uh, where did you go? There you are. Okay. Um, this is probably the safest place I can put it, and that is not necessarily saying much. I can't wait until he uses a knee ball to kill all of my units in one shot. Take the 42. AI is capturing bottom. That's actually a very smart thing for the AI to do. That healing point is healing me too, right? Yes, it is. What? Oh, that's the S30 piece. Okay, where's the fucking AT gun? There's the AT gun. Is it healing me? Oh, it's just not reinforced, and I retreated them. Oh, fuck me most ungently. Most ungently indeed. I don't know why the mortars are down there, and I don't know why they're not retreating as I hammer the Aki. And they're still playing super careful. Aye. I should actually probably start using the artillery for something worthwhile. Engineers on the hook. That's not really worthwhile. Come on. Come on, AT gun. You can see it. AT gun. Dumb fucking thing. Oh 
now. That is a, just an actually retarded amount of stuff. We shall try to see if just spamming chaff piece will, will somehow prove effective. whilst all this is going on. That is just fucking tragic. I thought I told you to repair that. going behind them. Okay. Why are you not repairing that? Oh, it's because you're somewhere completely differently. That's why. Come on now, boys. Slowly but surely. Advances are being made. Torturously. One inch at a time, and there the enemy finally bought artillery, which is going to make all of this a fair old bit more difficult. But luckily, that didn't actually kill anything. Some fucking how. That was very, very lucky. Exceedingly so. Tempted to send my shit down there and try to kill them now and see if I can snipe it, but let's not. I mean, chaffies are valuable. Oh, you sending everything you've got up here? You are, aren't you? You definitely are. Oh, mortars died? I don't even know where the mortars were. Alright, let's just try and get behind them. Command points should be spent when possible. Should be spent when possible indeed. Um, a T gun? Are you, uh, you're not. You need to, though. A T gun! Oh god, they've got more and heavier artillery now. Probably. Okay, there goes one. Close, but no cigar. Commander, CPs are waiting to be used. Fucking Christ. Well, this is definitely an intense game, if nothing else. Even if absolutely no actual, you know, forward momentum or anything is actually garnered. Um, infantry assault. Let's... Send that in there. I am going to need a lot more engineer squads. Uh, 
Artillery cooldown complete. Oh, shit. Let's not let them do that. I'd rather not lose all of those chaffies. try and make them into rangers. Um, I suppose I should. Fighting against the AI is actually a bit of a nightmare here because the AI can kind of be everywhere at once and it's currently making pretty damn good usage of that ability. Gustatori. Getting the point because they're literally invisible in the fucking bullshit retarded smoke. And he's attacking ground right now, too, thing. Yes, he is. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Chaffees are almost repaired. Chaffees are as prepared as Chaffees are likely to get. Oh, Jesus. Uh, they're trying to kill my thing, aren't they? That's very unfortunate. I'd rather they didn't. Good job, little Chaffee. Do be careful before everything else lands on your face. Alright, how many more chaffies can we get? Uh, more. Temptation to try base raping. Almost overwhelming. Could be worth it. Could unironically be worth it. Could actually unironically be worth it. Is that the super heavy shit? Might be worth it. Might be the best and only way to try and swing this. Nope, still mass infantry. Oh, that's actually my stuff. Never mind. I mean, we're actually winning on VPs right now, absurd as that might be. Oh, hello. Little martyr, little martyr. Get fucked, get fucked. Fucking Christ on a biscuit! Enemy forces are converging on many things. Okay, what are the odds we can pull off a scouting run here to see what we're up against? Petite, I would imagine. Oh, that doesn't actually reveal everything anymore, does it? Uh, that's unfortunate. Pick up your weapons. Come on. Don't be lazy. Those guns are going to be very useful. Oh. 
shit. Ah, uh, fuck. They're just... Ah, oh, goddammit. And now they've started spamming the setup weapons, which is the end all and be all. Company of setup weapons. You build armor? Well, I can just spam more packs than you can, and you will die. Yes, yes. Tragically, that is pretty much the truth. They did finally destroy the Healy thing, too. God damn it. Um, and I lost the anti-tank gun, which is mildly infuriating. I guess I should try to get on over to Sherman somehow. They are maybe just completely entrenched here now. Uh, did I actually get the um, Healy thing? I did. Alright, let's rebuild that. 200 manpower, ouch. And there's the fucking AI again. Because the AI will just continuously attack absolutely everything continuously. It's very frustrating. A Blumba! Uh huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Right. Carrying out orders. I'm actually tempted to try and attack them from the front because I've tried to attack them from the side and it just ain't really doing anything. Good evening, little mother. Farewell. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of infantry. That's a lot of infantry. The Chaffees are just not very good at dealing with infantry. Okay, need to free up some points for Sherman, so let's see what damage we can do against armor and artillery. Bit, as it turns out. Oh, you built packs, did you? How very fucking unfortunate for you. How very fucking tragic for you, in fact. You have my sympathies. No, you don't. You're a whore. And you deserve that. Okay, well, that went a lot better than I expected it to. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that that went a lot better than it had any right to do. And it's still actually going a lot better than it has any right to do. In fact, I'd go so far to say that this is going fucking astonishingly well. Who 
needs fucking Shermans? Who needs fucking Shermans? Okay. Okay, that's... Okay. Very well. Very well indeed. I mean, most of my shit up top is admittedly dead at this point, but... Hey. What does it matter? Oh, hello there, Panzer IV medium tank. Mm, heavy breathing. Heavy motherfucking breathing. Ah. 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 And that's what fucking happens, bitch. Okay, more pancers. I'm running a little bit low on stuff right now, I must admit. Uh, you guys can be rangers, okay? I know, it's a bit sudden. Please get some weapons as well. That would be appreciated. I would love some bazookas and some machine guns, if at all possible. That would be, uh... That would be ideal. Uh, bazooka... Flamethrower. Bazooka and a flamethrower. I... Unusual combination, but... I will take it. Oh wait, is that thing up and running again? It is, okay. And it's... Literally the tiniest little amount out of range. Die, bitch, die. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, yep, just... Just a lot of gustatory walking forward in a line. That will be effective. Okay. I should probably make that the retreat point, and I really want to kill that fucking artillery piece, if at all possible. It's mildly frustrating, man. I don't like it. Oh, come on. Hit it. It's a giant ass cannon. It shouldn't be this difficult. And yet it self evidently is. My Jesus. Come on. Thank you. Now please kill the cannon itself. Oh, you can hit that. Oh, 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 okay. You you can hit that. That you that oh, yeah. Okay. That you can hit. That you can hit. I see. I see. I understand. I don't. I think you're fucking retarded. Was that one tank coming out behind me? Hello? What happened? Friends! Boom. And leave. 
Uh, someone on the other team is rather angry at me right now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I do need to deal with that too, though. Okay, you go over there and heal and repair and do the things that you do. Three Rangers! Uh, you've already got weapons, you don't need any more. Another one bites the dust, and another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. Okay, you! You know, you, you need weapons. Call in weapons. I know, it's on the front line and the odds are the enemy is gonna steal them from you, but... Such is fucking life. Really need to remember to use the artillery a bit more often. A flamethrower and a browning. Okie dokie then. I will certainly make them a tough prospect, even for the Gustatori, so... Speaking of... Oh. Three or four of them versus one, that's not going to work out quite so well. Enemy down to 100 points! Repeat, 100 points! 100 points! And the chaffy herd, throng, flock, whatever you want to call it, is ready and repaired again. Once more prepared to make somebody very angry. Ah, King Gustatore. Nope. That was dumb. Shouldn't have been upgraded. Enemy movement near victory point. Hurry, get it done. Red tails on the way. And yes, incidentally, the red tails were apparently uh, flying C-47 transports in this game universe. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. I will not, and I cannot answer. Two more bazookas. I'll take it. Gosh, victory points. No, fuck you. Oh boy. I have 24 control points. Not that they can actually be used for anything whatsoever, mind you, but I have them. Can I build more of those? I can! Oh! For some reason, I assumed you could only build one of the incredibly powerful healing, automatic reinforcement and retreat points. Uh. Build. That is incredible. That means that I can set up reinforced points at any area in the battlefield and run to it. Oh god, that is balls. That is a very foolish thing that Relic is elected to do there. That's a cute army you had there. Oh, I can't call in artillery in their base, can I? No, tragically not. Oh. Here. 
Have this. And now. An 88. Ooh, okay. Fucking kick in the nitrous. Never has a plan intended to fail succeeded so spectacularly. I think Arch claims credit for that one. I think Arch did that one more or less by himself. And I think that the damage dealt statistic reinforces Arch's point of view. Huh. <laughs> that was a hectic fucking game. That was a good game, actually. I mean, it was one out of not a whole lot of many good games, and it was honestly halfway a fucking comp stomp at that point. But hey. Alright, well, how, do, how does the replay system work? Hmm. Cinematic mode! What does it mean? It removes the UI! Oh, shit. Please give me back the UI, thank you. Oh. You... You can't move... Oh, you have to use the arrow keys. Well, that's the height of retardation, but... Okay. Um... Why is the... The UI is so fucking hilariously massive? Uh, you can close off parts of it, can you? Yes, you can. Thank Jesus. Okay. I mean, this too. This this needs to not be here. This is enormous. Could this be slightly smaller? Okay, so you can actually show opposing build orders. That's good. That's a good casting interface. Uh, a kill bar. That's a good touch as well. I like that. Uh, you can see their command points, you can see their build orders. Alright. The UI is massive and frankly oppressive, but... I really want this to go away. This is enormous. Uh, can you... Do you have any control over the match? Can you... Cast a mode? Oh, okay. Nice, neat. Uh, statistics. Free roam camera. The camera just randomly waffles around the map. Uh huh. And you can speed up and down, but you can't rewind. Speeds have been done very smoothly, though. Okay. You know, this is actually a really good casting interface. I mean, I don't think this video game has any hope whatsoever of ever approaching anything that even resembles an eSports status. And I think the people who played this online are maybe seven dudes on an obscure forum somewhere. But this is a very good caster interface. Um, completely and utterly wasted on this video game, of course, again. It would also be nice if the cinematic mode would actually, like, tilt a little bit more properly. So you can tilt, but not, not a lot. It would actually be great if the cinematic mode would have you, uh, like, be able to be, like, first person, third person on units and stuff. That would be great, too.
Uh, I see they still haven't bothered animating the bolts on the bolt action rifles there. The COH-1 would have animated the fucking bolts, but not COH-3. The COH-3, they're lazy little bitches, and they don't animate the bolt. Goddamn weaklings. Goddamn weaklings. Speaking of bolts, uh, are there any riflemen around here? Are the riflemen still working the bolt in between shots? I need to know. Oh, God, you look so dumb. Let's see. No, no, they fixed that. Good. The American riflemen no longer operate the bolt on their semi-automatic rifle. That's pretty good. They still LARP as fucking Indians for reasons unbeknownst to me, but... That's nice, at least. Okay, what about the gems? Do they work their bolts? Nope. Oh, that's just mildly disappointing. See, COH would have worked the bolts. COH would have absolutely worked the bolts. This guy is not aiming, he's just wandering, or looking around. Yeah, animation quality certainly has fallen over the years, no doubt about that. I mean, there's still some there, like, there's still some good animations, it's just... It's definitely not like the good old days. Oh, I think I threw the fucking car. It definitely ain't COH-1. Certainly not as graphically impressive. Still, the fact that there is finally a replay system is greatly appreciated, because it allows people to actually, you know, look at the map, see what they did well, see what they did badly, and maybe learn from the experience. That's good. Alright. But, unfortunately, still, all in all, this sure as fuck is not the expansion to save Company of Heroes 3. That is, uh, that is definitely not on the table. They've done some nice things, you know, finally making the UI look like a polished, released product is nice. It's about six, seven months too late, mind you, but hey. At least they did it instead of leaving it with the alpha loading screen. You know, you'd think this would take a couple of days tops, though. Like, seriously, like... All you need to do, make the buttons look presentable, you know, add in a little bit of a decent font here and there, add in some iconography, make it stand out, give it a little bit of pizzazz, you know. you still got this ugly-ass window down here, but... This should not have taken six, seven months, by, uh, anyone's estimates. And as for the expansion pack itself, ah, oh, god. Like, what, four or five skins? That's what you get, you only get four or five skins, and two... Two lousy little divisions for twenty bucks, and that—that that was the—that was your pre-order special. That was your reward. That was your uh, hey, thank you for giving us your faith and buying our game before it was out. Thank you. It's it's two fucking divisions. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Coh ain't doing so well. And this is not gonna fix it. This is not, 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 not gonna fix it. In fact, I'm pretty sure this made it worse. I am 98% this actually made it worse. Because, I mean, this is an insult. It actually, like, you, you told people you'd be giving them an expansion pack. And you gave them a DLC. Barely that. Two goddamn divisions. That's, that's all you gave people. And a couple of skins. As an expansion pack. That people bought into. And paid extra for. Nope, 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 nope. COH3. Still not there. Oh well. Worth a try, I suppose. Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all uh, very much for watching, and I will see you all again soon. As we'll have a look here and see if there's anybody. anybody to raid today. Ah, that's right. 
The criminal is back on YouTube. The bad influence. The terms of service violator. The man who's been yeeted off more YouTubes more times than... Well, Sargon at this point, damn near. Kib is back on YouTube. Mmm. I feel like... Raiding him might be a bad idea, because YouTube might look at me and wonder if I endorse such scummy behavior, but... Despite his repeated terms of service violations and outright criminal, devious behavior, I suppose he deserves a little a bit of a congratulations for coming back on YouTube, so we'll raid Kibs today. And have a good night, everyone.